Why can I not change this monetization? Why are these not being monetized? What's up, guys? We better get that hype zone. Uh, you guys, don't forget, we have that 250 gig M.2 SSD that's attached to that, guys. Don't forget about that. I, I, I guess you guys always start that and then did get the hype train going. You guys need to get the hype train going. Let's get some of that done. There we go. There's a little bit right there. Use, those, use that stuff to unlock that giveaway. Come on, guys. You can do it.
What is up, guys? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Roby Tech. We are live. We have a minute and 33 seconds left, and uh, you guys need to finish this out. You, I, I don't. I need to figure out a way to turn off the uh, turn off the hype train so it doesn't start when I'm basically setting up. Like you have to go live in order to do a lot of setup stuff, and so we end up with this hype train situation where people don't really know what's going on with the hype train, and then now all of a sudden there's a bunch of hype train stuff, and going from there. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna hit record. Hit record. Hit record. We got, we got Trey here. All this, oop, oh, that says no card. That's not good. Hold on one sec, guys. We're gonna stop hitting record and I'm gonna put a audio file in here, one sec. I'm gonna go mute here for a minute. This is why all the stuff I Okay, I have audio again. We're just gonna get this ready to record. He's gonna go grab batteries. This is all stuff that we normally do, but because of the hype train stuff, we had to uh, get kind of rushed. So sorry about that. Time code, connect. Okay, here we go again. Look at all those tier. Look at those. Look at those tier three laser with the tier three. All those folks with the tier three. We are. Today we are going to get to announce the winner of the sub-only giveaway for the RTX 3080 from last month. Plus, don't forget we have the 3070 this month that we're going to be announcing at the end of this one. So we got we got another sub-only giveaway. And then hopefully next month, uh, the plan is, is YouTube should be active. So that way subs on YouTube will also, subs, paid subs on YouTube will also be able to get in and enter for the 3080 giveaway that's happening next month as well. So we got a bunch of those things going on today. Should be super awesome. Um, plus we got the new, uh, are you trying to pull a Jensen with that card in the background? You forgot the spatulas. I know it's just sitting back there, the Titan RTX. Remember when that was like the most powerful card in the world and now now it's not. It's just a it's just a set dressing at this point in time. Okay, it looks like we're good here. I can now hit record and we can uh, we can get started with the show. Okay, well, welcome everybody to Roby Tech. Hey, we made it on a Wednesday, starting at our scheduled time of six o'clock, uh, which is awesome. And uh, the flavor of ice is the strawberry watermelon. So that is good. Um, I forgot, um, let's see, where is it? Restream chat, there we go. Forgot to bring up my other restream chat. So there we go, gonna pop up there. Guys, welcome to um, a $2,000. I think this has been one of the most requested build is a $2,000 RTX 3080 build. So we're gonna be building an RTX 3080 build in a brand new case, and that's in the Fantex P360A. So this case just got announced this morning. Uh, we're gonna, you're gonna be one of the first people to get to see it. Um, this is their budget. This is one of their budget cases um, in uh, what's essentially uh, the P300, which was on another budget. It's like their, their upgrade to the, the 300 series um, from them. And so uh, nice, uh, super awesome case that we'll be checking out. So I'm pretty stoked about showing that off. Um, we've also got some new tech to show off that I've I've been meaning to for a while. Um, so we're going to show something off like this tilted, um, this tilted. I know I've seen a couple of people have already talked about that. We got we got some things like this that we're showing off. We're having like a new tech, like a new tech moment now. Ooh. I'm trying to do on Wednesdays where we show off like new products. Like for instance, we got that um, that screen that I've been I've been using forever lit from Lifted. Um, we're going to show that off near the end. Plus this, um, there's a new thing called if you hit exclamation point new tech. It'll give you links to these individual items um, where you can go and check these out. Um, and uh, there's actually discounts for like this one is like 15%. And then there's a permanent discount on Amazon for people who go through that link for these as well. So this is a white headset and uh, mouse bungee in one. So you can like put a headset on it. You've got your mouse bungee. And then the other thing too is it's like completely tons of RGB options. Um, all it is is like takes power, um, for basically, uh, uh, you just plug it in via USB, which makes it really nice. I'm a, I've got it in the blue, which is the color of my current office, and uh, go from there. So it's like uh, that's why it's it's currently set to the uh, the that one. But I haven't even started the show yet. I just started going crazy and uh, going from there. So going let me crazy. yeah, I was just going crazy and, and getting started on all sorts of things, and then 
forgot to actually uh, introduce myself and and all that jazz. So we uh, we will get that going. Who are you? Yeah, who am I? Who am I? Who is who is that? Like. What is going on? Like, there's a bunch of things that are going on, and we haven't even gotten there. We're already at level five, which is great. So we've started the giveaway. I'll check the I'll check the the um, the stats here in a minute. But guys, welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to tech news, tech deals, giveaways, PC builds, all things that have to do with awesome funness. Um, that's pretty. I think that's what it is. We're dedicated to fun. That's what we are. Fun. Right? Yeah. We're dedicated to fun when it comes to text. Yeah. F, yeah, fun. We're decked, you know, it's a special uh, lisp on pho, on pho, but it's fun, um, which is a, a, a thing from there. Um, this is a show that typically happens every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time, um, and going till 9, 9.30, 10, 10.30, sometimes 11. We always try to get it done early, but then I get busy talking, and it never seems to, never seems to get done on time. Uh, every, almost every show will build a full PC or build a full something. For instance, we're doing a special show on Monday, um, where, uh, we're going to be building a QNAP, uh, so a NAS, so an, an, a NAS server. So we're going to be kicking off, there's, we're going to be giving one of those away. So that's like a nice $2,000 giveaway, um, that we'll be doing here on the show, um, and, uh, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. If, if, yeah, people don't know what it is, but we'll be, uh, we'll be, we'll be showing it off and you'll find out. I don't know out. what it is, but I sure yeah, want one. People is like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm excited about winning it. Um, so we'll be doing that there on the show. But yeah, like I said, it's usually the show is usually Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, starting at 6 p.m. Uh, here. We stream on multiple platforms. So a lot of people are like, hey, you've got, you know, how many do we have? Oh, like kind of covered. Let's take a look. We've got, what, 193 over on YouTube right now. We've got 207 hanging out on Twitch and one hanging out on Facebook. Thank you very much. Loyal Facebook, Facebook viewer. Loyal. <laughs> the Facebook loyal group. Um, we got uh, so the way that it kind of works is we um, we stream on multiple platforms, both Twitch and YouTube. Um, over the course of the show, we'll have pretty close to ten thousand, if not greater than ten thousand people who will come mm -hmm. and go over the next four hours. Um, and because we're on different platforms, it means we have different ways of giving you information. If you're over on Twitch, we're gonna have the moderators dropping uh, links for you guys. Um, YouTube, you'll also see it there in the chat. But if you're on YouTube. You can just check all the stuff down in that description below, and down in that description, you have all the information that you could potentially need on like what parts we're putting in the build and all that sort of stuff. So it kind of works, but because we stream to multiple platforms, it makes things a little interesting. The other thing too is because it's live, that means that we make mistakes. Unlike the curated, my curated friends over at Jay's Two Cents or Bitwit or Linus, where it seems like they can do a whole PC in 20 minutes. Alas, that's not true, and they make tons of mistakes. I know from our videos <laughs> where we make PCs in 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, our videos that make PCs in 20 minutes. Unlike those, like you actually get to see the whole process and 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 do it do it here with me. I try to pay attention to chat. We have Trey here who who uh, likes Trevor, who likes hey to pull pull things out and let me know uh, those questions and stuff like that. So when we get to do new tech like we are today with the brand new, we have a brand new uh, PSU that just got released in a brand new case. Um, this is a unique opportunity to ask those questions in a way that you've you've uh, you usually don't get. So we get to have a two-way conversation with some of that stuff. Um, let's talk about giveaways because giveaways is another big important part of the show. Um, we did we had an interesting thing happen, so I'm just gonna gonna let you in on some uh, behind closed doors secret information. Obviously, with a show of this scale, um, with a staff and stuff of this scale. We have accountants and those accountants pay attention to things like when we do giveaways and stuff like that, which is fine. We're still doing giveaways. But thing that we didn't learn and we didn't account for is that the show, the streaming for our part of the show was actually losing money. Um, so we actually had to modify our thresholds for giving so that way we're not actually uh, losing cash from the streaming side of things. So you will see that the thresholds have actually gone up for some of those giveaways. Now, regardless, no matter what, we give away a $25 new egg gift card on the show. But now, instead of being at 30, at 45 is when it becomes a $50 new egg gift card. At 90 is when it becomes a $100 new egg gift card. And at 125 is when it becomes a $150 new egg gift card. Um, and then again, don't forget, we have multiple of those 150s. If instead of giving away a 3070, we give away two 3070s. And we have to hit that a number of times. I think we said two times a week. If we had 150, then we'll actually add a second 3070 to that giveaway for subs only at the end of the month. So that makes things a little better. Now, the other thing too is if we hit Hype Train twice uh, during the show, um, that means that we will give away a 250 gig Western Digital Blue M.2 SSD, which is awesome. And then if we hit five, 600 likes over on YouTube, we'll give away three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now, if you don't know what Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is, Game Pass Ultimate gives you access to 100 games on PC and 100 games on Xbox as well. Plus you can use it to stream to your Android device. 
and play games on the go. It's absolutely amazing. It is it, amazing. It's and like the games change like the every great, month. It's it's so crazy and it's it's absolutely stuff. So you'll get we every got, Microsoft Studio yeah. release, which what, which is now nuts. Yeah. Bethesda. So it's it's so worth. Yeah. Which now includes like twenty four studios. So it's it's well <laughs> worth it's well worth all of the stuff that's going on today. Now people are asking what is happening on the show today. Are we going to announce the winner of the thirty eighty? Yes, we are winning. You're announcing announcing the winner of the 3080 on today's show um so we'll announce the winner from last week's sub giveaway and then remember you will you will still be uh entered to win if you sub in the month of october uh you will still be entered to win the um sub only giveaway which is a 3070 is the sub only giveaway for the month of october I already want that's it, going in there now tomorrow you are going to want to tune in but let me just i'm gonna i'm gonna up make sure our scores our sub scores are at the right place because that's uh we had a couple subs before so i'm going to make sure that we're up to up to the right count um so we have 13 already so let me go fix that because we don't show that right now um alert box so we have 13 subs so one two three and there we go now we are caught up so all the subs are there can you plug Plug in a USB 3.0 port into a USB 3.2 port on a motherboard. Yes, you can. Yeah. USB 3.0 into a USB 3.0. Yes, those those are fine. Yeah, as long as That's the connector is the same, it's absolutely okay. So, um, so we are, that is, so what is happening today? Today, we are building a build in the Fantex P360A Plus. We are actually answering one of the most requested things that I've gotten recently, which is Roby. If I had a 3080, which is, I know, I know, rough, rough. But if I had a 3080, what would be a great $2,000 build to do? There is no such thing as a $1,000 3080 build. There is a such thing as a $1,500 3080 build, but that is just crazy. I think $2,000 is right around probably what you're going to want to do. Spend ideally, you could get away with like maybe $1,750. But this is what I would consider an ideal spec um, from a 3080 standpoint. Um, it's using a 3700X and a 3080. You are going to have some bottlenecking at the 1080p, but unless you are a pro esports player playing, wanting to play greater than 260 FPS, that would be about the only place you'd be concerned because most people, when you're using a 3080, it's really idyllic for 2K or 1440p or 4K gaming, of which this PC will have no issue with that at all. So um, we got a lot going on there. No such thing as an $800 3080 build unless you happen to pick one off of truck and throw it into a 3080, <laughs> into an $800 build. So yeah, we got we got some stuff going in there and uh, going from there. That's about the only way to make a, an $800 3080 build. <laughs> Go, whoa, US Sagos just did 25 tier one subs. Dang. Dang, US Sag you saw Ghost just dropped 25 here in the channel. So we're already really you off to a good Ghost. start. And wanting to go through that. Thanks very much for that, man. That's a, that's amazing. Super appreciate that. And and the show goes on. That's awesome, guys. So appreciate that. Um, so and then the last thing is is that people are asking. Yes, again, we're going to announce. I, I I can't I can't hold it in. I can't hold it in. I I, I want to tell you guys a that little I'm secret because tomorrow. So tomorrow oh. you're going to want to tune in because tomorrow we are building the PC that we are going to be giving away for the month of October, and that giveaway <laughs> starts on the fifteenth of October. Now, that build has an i9-9900KF, oh, a it. RTX 3080. Um, it also has 32 gigs of RAM. It's, in the, uh, it's using the new NZXT uh, N7 uh, motherboard that just got announced, which we'll be doing the build on that in an H710. Um, absolutely crazy nice build with mm -hmm. moderate, uh, moderate um, RGB. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, because people are going in the... Yeah, people, are, people are wanting to know this. We're not just giving away a CPU. No, no, we want this no. to be a next gen knockout giveaway. So not only are we Wait, giving what away- what does that mean? It means that you can't just play next gen on PC. What? You need to be able to play it on console too, right? So not what? only are we gonna give away a PC, we're gonna give away an Xbox Series X and a PS5 and a PC to one lucky winner starting wait, wait, wait. next, starting so tomorrow. So I win a PC and an Xbox, that's it, right? You No, you win a PC, an Xbox Series X and a PS5. That's the giveaway that starts. So I choose one or the other? You, no, you choose all, you get all. What? You basically get all of them all in one, all in one thing. So it's, uh, we're going to be doing that. The, the giveaway is gonna be going live on the 15th of 
October. Um, that'll be going for a month. It is our it is our month long giveaway for the month of October, and uh, it is going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be bonkers. Yes, we know there's going to be a lot of entries, but uh, it's going to be nuts. Unfortunately, it is not. A, it, I cannot do international. I'm super sorry about that. All the PC giveaways uh, we had the uh, whole snafu where uh, somebody didn't pay their tax, and what we ended up having to pay was like you know like literally like two times the amount of money that the prize was worth because of somebody was like, oh, you have to pay tax. So um, it's going to be nuts. So get ready. So you're going to want to tune in tomorrow because you're going to see the PC we're going to be giving away. And then we're also throwing in a, so you can win a 3080 build, a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. So I'm not choosing between an Xbox You're not choosing between any of them. You're just getting all of them. I'm yeah. So it's like this, that's, it's going to be cool. Of all of them. You win all of them. So yeah. So uh, the PC, the giveaway will be on Gleam. You can check at, New, at Newegg or at Roby Tech. If you've entered either the Intel or the Star Wars, any of those ones, you guys, um, and so uh, go so from there. So that's wondering, do I have to be subbed somewhere? Or no, no, the, unfortunately, the, you don't have to do anything. You just got you'll find out, just stay tuned. We'll, we'll have all the information going. I'm just letting you know, we have a really awesome giveaway. So it goes live tomorrow it and goes, I'll find out It doesn't lie, it doesn't go live. We build the PC oh. for it. It goes live on the 15th. Goes live on the, on the 15th. 15th of October. So is that when I'll find out? You'll find out how to enter and all that sort of okay. stuff. So it should be fun. So uh, we do international. So international for the stuff that we do here, people are asking, hey, what about the international? For the giveaways that we do here on the show, we just send gift cards because now what we started doing is like, if you win a physical prize, we just send you a gift, a gift card for that amount. Um, and that way we don't have to worry about the international shipping. Unfortunately for PCs, um, when you're talking about a $5,000 prize, there's, there's stuff that's going in there. I'm glad um, that's awesome about the uh, the TikTok stuff. So I appreciate that. So that's that's funny. People are going that. Um, we uh, the build starts the build starts uh, tomorrow. Oh, the build for today starts here very soon. So we're just going through that. We're gonna we're gonna show that off and all that sort of stuff. So it's gonna be a lit giveaway. This is going to be using a 3080 Founders Edition for sure. Bernie, don't call me out like that. Yeah. So this should be a good should good, should be a good show. So that is the plan. We uh, so we how many likes do we where's 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 my guy where's my how many likes do we have on okay 142 so we already got 142 likes over on youtube we're at 43 let's get those last two subs wait what am i here for let's get these last two subs guys let's go down there let's start with everything on the threshold and then we'll get started on the builds we'll start on the build here in a minute because it's build's gonna go pretty quick i think as a Roby Tech employee, I can't even enter, Bernie. No, blah, yes, br yes. The thing is, is that for those of us who are here at Roby Tech, like Trey, myself, Josh, Brian, uh, you, they cannot enter. Now, mods, because they don't get paid, and uh, like community manager, because she doesn't get paid, they can enter. But you, yeah. those of us who get paid by Roby Tech are obviously unable to, uh, to get in on that getaway. Um, so yeah, we'll go from there. 165. Uh, you know, you want to see your subscribe mummy. No, that's cool. We're at four. We've already gotten four. Are we at five yet? No, we haven't gotten five months, have we? Is it, we it feels like we've been streaming a whole lot longer. Was, yes, we are going to announce the winner of the Who Won the 3080 at the end of this. So, yeah, don't worry. There's going to be lots of... Now, people are asking about dad jokes. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got dad jokes. I'm going to go and take a look right now <laughs> in our Robitech dad joke section and call it out. Wait, why am I in the bag? Now, now okay, here we go. Oh, I, I feel like I've been reading hers a lot. I got to find... I'm going to find another one. Gosh... The, you guys need to, Eternal's been Eternal's been like crushing it, um, so okay. So this one's from Sternum. Can't believe someone broke in my garage and stole the limbo stick. Seriously, how low can you go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that gosh. one's good. Oh man, nothing will for me. Nothing's gonna be chicken Caesar salad. Yeah, I love chicken Caesar salad. Okay. Um, uh, and then I have, I have a, but <coughs> Eternal has dropped like literally 50 million. So we'll have, we'll have more of them. Give me a gun. Wow. That's not nice. Okay. We're at 46. We've done that. Let's go. Let's move on. We're going to hit the next, we're going to put the next tier up. So <laughs> what, what happens if the, the September winner isn't on the stream? Today? It's okay. They don't have to be here today. They don't have to be here. No, no. So they're, they're, as long, as long as they were, as long as they were, uh, as long as, as they were sub, we do not need to be present to win. This is for a hundred dollar. I... And an official Roby Tech employee. Yes, they. Yes, he is. Uh, we need 90. We're at 46. 10, 20, 20, 20. Okay, there we go. Okay, next goal is up, guys, for the $100 new gift card, and we are going on. Okay, so let's talk about what is going in the build today. Because I think everybody's really excited about today's build. So I'm going to bring up our bring up our 
our little refresh here and we'll walk through this. We're gonna, I'll talk about this a little bit later. I'm really stoked about this, but remember, all you have to do is hit exclamation new tech to get a preview Ouch. of these things. Uh, YouTube, the uh, description down in the description below if you wanna check these things out. Pretty rad, pretty excited about this. The shadow, um, the shadow from, uh, from uh, Tilted. Um, I'm pretty stoked about that. Let's go to our, let's go to our thing and let's walk through the parts for this build real quick. Um, I, I don't know if I, yeah, I'm gonna show this off from here. We don't have, Obviously, we don't have all of the parts for this because some of the parts aren't on sale yet, um, including the case. So we'll talk about the case when we get to the case part here pretty quick. Did we Okay, we're good there. Okay, let's go to iPad and let's uh, show this off. Okay, so powering our 3080 system is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, the Ryzen 7 3700X is a 8-core, 16-thread, uh, 3.6 gigahertz. Uh, like I said... For the most part, we talk about like that mid-range bottlenecking situation. This is kind of when you start to get on the edge. Anything kind of greater than the 3700X and above uh, seems to be kind of pretty good in terms of not having to worry as much about bottlenecking, specifically at 1080p. When we start getting into 1440p and 4K, uh, the bottlenecking, especially for modern-day CPUs, isn't near as much. But again, we have more potential here, and that's not to say that you don't get more, poten more power from faster CPUs at 4K. It's just not a, as much given that, um, given that uh, it's more GPU bound. So there's our CPU, uh, 324 bucks, and showing that off on uh, uh, Newegg right now. Uh, for our GPU, because everybody wants to, I put, um, what's on the list is not what we're using today. What we're actually How gonna be using is the, well, nobody sells it except for NVIDIA, and that is the GeForce RTX 3080 Founders Edition. So we're gonna be vertically mounting this bad boy, by the way. So we'll make sure it's vertically mounted. We'll show that off a little bit. So we'll vertically mount that, which should be super cool and making sure. Like I said, for most of the month, for the next, for pretty much the next for forever, minus like one or two, everything is gonna be 3080 builds or 3090 builds from now on, did so. You, did you see that, uh, in, is it <coughs> NVIDIA or is it EVGA that's doing the Q? The Q? They're doing like, a buying queue or something that oh, will I send didn't know. you an email. Oh, I and didn't you know. Have five hours to respond to. The oh, email. I didn't know. That. I didn't see that. No, I haven't something seen that. All I've seen about is we can talk about the MSI, them selling their own, their, them scalping their own cards. We can talk a lot about that a little bit. Oh, it is VGA. It's EVGA. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, uh, and going from there. So yeah, that's pretty rad. So EVGA is going to be doing that. Um, okay, so that is our GPU um, for our power supply, and this is new. Um, these are just recently released. Uh, sitting it there is the new oops, uh, Cooler Master V750 V2 Gold. Uh, this is an 80 plus gold certified um, uh, PSU. Uh, the only thing too is it's got a 135 millimeter fan. Uh, we've got fully modular power supply. It's a fully modular power supply. Um, it's got that. It's got that really cool um, new specification in terms of uh, the cabling itself. Uh, it also comes with a. Uh, uh, it comes with 100% Japanese capacitors, a 10 year warranty and then uh, high quality, high tier uh, cabling, uh, which is more than what you need for things like uh, using a single EPS, using a single PCI connector for two things on a uh, GPU. So nice new ones, uh, new option. These are now available on, uh, now available and in stock over at Newegg.com. Um, so if you wanna check those out, you know, I, I don't know if they're on Amazon, but they are on Newegg. Uh, they're gonna sell out fast. They always do because power supplies are like gold right now. So if you wanna go pick one out, and go from there. Uh, is 850 watts enough for an i9 10900K and 3090? Yes, it is. That is what they're saying is the minimum uh, power supply for basically that. And I know people who've done it on a 750 watt. I would not recommend that, but 850 is the minimum. We also have some. Uh, uh, we also have some uh, Fantex SP PWM RGB fans that the uh, nice find Justin sent me over from Fantex. We'll be throwing that in the case as well. So we have those in there. We don't need all three of these. We only actually need one. I guess I can throw all three in, you know, just for fun. Uh, funsies. funsies. We'll do some funsies. So we'll throw all three in these just to get some added RGB because RGB increases the speed of a 3080 by what? 225 billion percent. So right. yeah, we're going to be going from there. So yeah, it should be, uh, it should be, should be good. We'll be showing that off. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we're using the stock cooler. Um, uh, I know I teased this and it's a tease. This will be coming out later on. This is the Cooler Master <laughs> Hyper 212 Evo V2. I was gonna show this off, um, but we're under embargo until uh, the 15th. So tease, next week we'll show this off. Um, I'm really excited about this. I know a lot of people who use this. This is the V2 model. Um, better bracket installation, uh, newer fan, nicer fan. So, so, so you we, can't show I can't show it, building it and putting it on. I can tease it, 
but I can't like <laughs> take it out of the box and all that sort of stuff. So we'll uh, we'll show that we'll show that we'll show that off a little bit later. Thank you for Cooler Master for not losing their cool. Uh, I like that. Thank you for Cooler Master for not losing their cool, and because I made the mistake of talking about it early, it hasn't even been announced yet. So world exclusive. Hey, the Cooler Master is coming out with a new uh, a new uh, cooler, and we'll show that off a little bit later. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Ram. Oh yeah, for RAM, we're using the G-Skill Triton Royal Z Neo. Uh, this is 36 gigs, 3200 megahertz. This is the AMD specific kit, which means uh, you don't have to worry about it being on your preferred vendor list, your PVR, uh, sorry, PDL. Um, and so, uh, which means this is specifically made to work well with AMD. So if it doesn't show up on there, this will still work um, using its DOCP or XMP profile, depending on your BIOS. So uh, this should be awesome. Plenty of speed for this um, and a good, uh, nice moderate build. When we talked about $2,000, when you talk about where I spent it, I spent it on obviously getting 3,600 megahertz RAM, which is great for uh, the Infinity Fabric for uh, Ryzen. And then the other thing too is that I wanted to make sure. That, so again, we don't want to bottleneck on anything. So I'm just trying to give it ideal. So the CPU and the Infinity Fabric works at ideal speeds given what you need for the GPU. Then finally for our M.2 drive, We've got the Western Digital Black SN750. Absolutely love these. I know you could do a 970 or you could do a C8. Um, just like the way these look, they're black, so you don't have to worry about it hiding them as much. And Western Digital just makes a great, uh, a great uh, M.2 drive. Other day. Huh? New Egg had to sell on those the other day. Yeah, they have sale. Like right now, I think M.2s like have been stuff that they've seen for sale for for yeah. going for crazy. So if yeah. If you bought two or more, they're like 59.99. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You had to buy at least two. It's funny because I have two. I do have two MSI cards. Um, I did not pay scalp price for either one of those, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, it's really unfortunate what's going on there for uh, for all that, that sort of stuff. That their own yeah. sub company yeah, somehow got a hold of them. They've gotten so many black eyes recently. I, I, I kind of feel bad for them, and uh, but I don't at the same time because no. that people have been aware. We also have uh, the Fantex vertical GPU mount for uh, for our uh, uh, for our. Uh, this is the Fantex vertical GPU mount for the case. We'll be showing that off a little bit later. We wanted to make sure that we could vertically mount this just to make it look super fly. So we'll be showing super that chat. off. And then I think that is it. Oh, jeez, Roby. Forgot the, ooh, super chat, what do we get? What did they Hippo say? character throwing a blazing uppercut into the air while the word KO appears in the background. 999 USD, John John. Thank you, John John, for the super chat. The other thing that we have is, um, uh, we have the uh, the MAG B550 Tomahawk. Um, love this. Uh, we've used this quite a few. It's just really a tried and true, a really a tried and true uh, uh, freaking uh, <laughs> tr freaking uh, motherboard. I know MSI is MSI. controversial. <laughs> uh, MSI is controversial, but everybody really likes these boards. Specifically, the uh, specifically their their Tomahawk stand with B450, their X570. Which good luck getting it in stock. Maybe they're scalping that too. <laughs> And then we've got the B550 Tomahawk. Please do uh, going from there. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's Micro Center. Um, actually, uh, it's one seventy nine ninety nine. I haven't Micro Center price tag. This is a Micro Center item. How did you get from? Micro um, so the reason I got it from Micro Center is because of the hockey who we built last week uh -huh. in the Arctic's. Um, he didn't choose an Arctic seat, uh, motherboard, so I was like, oh okay, well I'll wow. buy the X570 Prime and I'll trade you and then you can pay the difference. And so that's what that's what actually happened. So now I actually have another Micro Center. This is just a stock motherboard that I get to use and all that sort of stuff. Um, people had questions, because we're now, we're, let's talk a little bit about the case. So this is the P360A. Um, it's basically their, like their high value, but like low cost. Um, uh, oh, this thing is so light. Um, but again, is the thing is, is like, look at the mesh, right? Like it's just, it's, it's like just got that like super easy mesh. We'll walk through the whole build here real quick. Um, people ask pricing. It's going to be uh, MSRP is seventy dollars. So for seventy bucks, this is what you get. You get two addressable RGB fans. It is their Fantex, their uh, SKPWM DARGB, which means that you can buy a pack of the three of these, and they can all connect together. Let's turn up the lights a little. I just noticed it's a little dark in here. Um, let me is find. It? Yeah, it is. It's a little dark. Let's uh, turn. Is music in the stream? Yeah, should be. I see it, and I see it running. Yeah, I mean, I, hear I see it. it. Yes, I see it. Nice. I see it running. Okay, uh, someone someone just said no music. Oh, do you not hear music? No. Oh, why is it? it? It shows. May I need to turn it up a little bit? It's there. I see it. 
You guys don't hear? I don't, don't hear, hear it. it. Turn on the music. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. I see music. Um, hold on. Properties. It is the high. It was quiet. Oh, it's yeah, I just have it really quiet. Okay. Okay, good. It's just supposed to, yeah, there, there's, okay, people are singing. Okay, good. We're going to turn up the brightness a little bit because it's like, it's kind of dark so you guys can see the case a little bit better. There you okay. go. Okay. Um, so yeah, there we go. Brightness is up. Actually, so here's our case. Um, so this is a DRGB. Um, the uh, the exceptional value, like in the, um, the P300, which is like $55. Um, this is kind of in between. Again, you get that really good airflow in there. Um, it's a nice chassis you still get quite a bit of room i'm excited to build in this but it has like a lot of the like no frills but we'll kind of let's go ahead and tear it down and uh take it all apart and then once from there we'll then get into doing the other build so let's get our build started i'm trying to see if there's other things uh things that comes with it comes with two uh the rgb pwm fans it's got two ssd brackets it's got the accessory bag which everybody absolutely loves um it's got the full metal front panel with ultra fine mesh, which we've seen in the P500A, the P400. Um, it's got uh, software free RGB. So you actually have like a button to control so uh, RGB. Um, it supports EATX motherboards and it's got a 240 and a 280 millimeter rad and up to a top 240 millimeter rad for the top. It supports full size GPUs. It's vertical GPU ready, which we have the GPU mount for. Um, it's, uh, it's got IO features. We've got two USB 3.2, so no USB-C. Um, and then it's got dedicated cable, cable management, which we'll show off here a little bit later. And then we've got the RG, integrated RGB strip, which has been a lot of fun. People have been digging that, um, specifically in the P500A. Um, and it's available in both black and white. So we could have done an Arctic build of that as well. Um, I, I think the thing that I love the most about it is really um, just the fact that that the, the airflow on these things have a tendency to be super rock solid. So um, that's what makes me very happy about these particular. Bernie, you weren't supposed to tell people about my Zelda jammy onesies. Your Jeez. Zelda jammy onesies? I didn't even know about these. Is this charging? Okay, good. Okay, so let's get that charging and then let's show off so let's go and strip the case down. We'll show you a little bit more of this. Because again, one of the other thing twos is like, this is this is not a commission build. This is just to kind of show off this new this new case and do a 3080. So there's your tempered glass right there. Um, uh, reminiscent, unlike what we've seen with like the P500A or uh, any of the other Fantex build, that's actually more H510 in terms of uh, taking off the uh, tempered glass. Uh, there's a small catch. There's two small catch latches at the bottom to kind of hold it down there. The things that we are missing is we still have, we still have down here at the bottom, let me get you, let's get the magic Nan light. Everybody loves the magic Nan yeah, lights. Yeah, no, no, it's magnetic. Oh, that's right. So we'll show this off. So there we go. So we'll show this off so you guys can see a little bit more on the inside. There you go. So on the inside, so you guys can see a little bit more in there given how dark it is. You can see down at the bottom, um, you can see it still has that little small hole for doing uh, for doing uh, some cable manage uh, having your cables for your v your GPU go through. So we'll be using those for the vertical mount. Um, but you can see just not a lot of frills. Like we don't have like the we just have like a, a, a raised bar for cable management and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, so none of the like sliding things are mountable um, uh, mountable like SSD trays or anything like that. Um, it looks like SSD trays mounting up are on the back. Um, and then, you know, this is just nice and smooth and flat. There's no additional SSD mounts. So again, you're kind of getting budget. Um, you've got microfiber on the top, plus you've got the one on the front, which is pretty straightforward. Let's go and take off the back here. And then we can look at the, how much room you have for cable management. There we I go right there. How much room do we have? We're gonna look. Oh, okay. We're gonna look. Okay. okay. And then we've got our front panel, which should, yep, just pops right off. So there's that super fine mesh there. Um, which is nice, which is not going to get a lot of restricted airflow. There's nothing else. There's no other dust filter or anything like that, which is good. Um, and then they've got a, like almost down here at the bottom to protect the air chamber. Uh, they blocked that off. So your air is directly going over your components, which is good as well. 226 on YouTube. Come on, boys and girls. Wow. Okay. So interesting. Check this out. This is new. Uh, check out how these, so your, your, Drive trays are actually you have to pull off the front to actually get to your drive tray, which is interesting. Never seen that before. So it's actually oh. hidden from the shroud. So you pull it out from the front this way. So this is actually where your drive trays are. 
um, which gives you a lot more room in the back here for um, your, uh, for your shroud. So you actually have a lot more power supply room, which is easier. You've got up to three mounting spots for SSDs in the back. Plus you actually end up with like almost a full, maybe even an inch, maybe nine tenths of an inch to basically channel all of your RGB and all that sort of stuff, which is cool. So not a ton of room here. So one of the things that would be rough is like, I know a lot of people are used to mounting, um, RGB controllers like IQ, like the, um, like the, uh, uh, lighting nodes and stuff like that. This would be a little hard. You don't have a ton of room. I mean, these these SSD trays come right up to the edge of the case, but you could put some of that stuff down here. And then again, you're running all of your cabling. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you're running all of your cabling uh, through these gaps um, that in this elevated portion up front. So, which is cool, which is crazy. So again, budget for sure, 70 bucks, but you still get a lot for 70 bucks. You don't have a fan. You don't have a fan hub or anything like that. Um, it's not giving you, uh, one thing I'm gonna check real quick is you are not, you are getting um, daisy chainable. You have daisy chainable RGB for your uh, fans, um, but you do not have like a fan splitter. So if you put like five or six fans on this thing, you're gonna have to hook them all up to your, uh, you're gonna have to hook them all up to your uh, motherboard. There's no included uh, fan splitter or anything like that, which is like in the Cooler Master TD500 or anything like that. So cool case, cool case like this. It seems like it's pretty easy to build in. We're gonna build and do a live review as we go um, and just kind of see how this whole thing goes together. Uh, should be easy. But yeah, there's your overview of the, uh, the, the initial impressions of the uh, P360A and we'll do more as we get further in the build. Were so, you supposed to do a build in a unicorn onesie? At one point in time, yes. But Bernie's pretty upset that you haven't done that yet. <laughs> what? No, that's the, that's, that was so 2019. <laughs> um, so there we go. We got that all going in there from here and that's that. So any questions? Anybody have any questions about the, uh, anybody have any questions about the, uh, the case or anything that you'd like to know before we get into the build? I want to give you guys a chance. I'm trying to give you guys more opportunity to ask questions about these cases before we get into it. Um, what do you think about the Fantex P600S? Because I'm planning on getting that case for when I... So, uh, Kix GM was asking, what, is, what do I think of the Fantex P600S? Absolutely love it. Probably one of my favorite cases. Absolute dream to build in. Uh, love the amount of options in it. It looks super good. I like that you can close it all up to get uh, low noise or you can open it up to just matter for a high airflow. Um, I'm actually talking to a commission guy right now who's also a good friend of mine, Keith, over at Xbox and recommending that case to him. So P600S gets the Robitech seal of approval. There we you should, go. We need, we need, do, like, you, do you like the Razer, Razer Lee and Lee case? I, you can't argue with any... I, there, I don't think there is a Lee and Lee case that I have built in so far that I have not liked. So, yeah, Mr. Klein. Yes, Mr. Klein. Yes, it is. I just got the case of this awesome airflow and get the great building. Great, there we go. So there's something right there. How would you compare the case to the P400A or P500A? Uh, the P400A is old. So I like I like the P400A. It's still a it's still a great alternative, great airflow case, but it's dated. There's a couple things about it that are just kind of a pain to build in. The P500A is like the like if the it's like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just such a great case. You have massive airflow. It's got so much room to just build around. It's got all, it's built on the P600S chassis. So given how much I love the P600S, I actually know that I would really adore the P500A. I've got to build in it, what, three times? And I've loved it every time. And your your temperatures and stuff like that are absolutely great, whether you're using the the uh, fans that come from Fantex or if you, I've thrown IQs in there. I mean, sorry, Q, QL fans in there. I keep saying IQs, but that's the software. QL fans in there and absolutely loved it. So love that case as well. Opinions on upgrading uh, AMD 5700 XT to a 3070 or wait till next gen AMD? So let's, at this point in time, we are, I would say we are 21 days away from knowing everything. Oh, so right, I would wait right. 21 days before making a call if you really need to. Um, somebody asked about the Cooler Master TD500. Cooler Master TD500, again, one of those absolutely crazy cases. It's actually, if you follow me on TikTok, which you should, because there's Tech Talk on TikTok and it's become very popular. Um, so Tech Talk on TikTok. I do, I answer your tech questions every day, one a day on TikTok. Um, but I actually, you will see that my personal gaming rig is in the Cooler Master TD500. So I do like that case. We just built in it last on Friday um, and I can recommend that one. That also gets the Robitech seal of approval. 
Um, you should, anything else? You should do that at the end of uh, your case reviews. Yeah, and the end of my case reviews. Robitech seal of approval. This is this is a, not a the good Verge case. V. I'm not the Verge V2. Come on, guys. Jeez, I, like I know what tweezers are. Uh, have you? I have not. Wow. You know, it's funny. Infinity Flame asks a good question. I should reach out to Be Quiet. I have not built in a single Be Quiet case. You should reach out. I should reach out to I Be Quiet and get some. Out. I haven't got to build in any of their stuff. I not. That's not to say that I, I haven't been interested. Nobody's asked for it. I've actually made some recommendations for Be Quiet cases. I will say aesthetically, not on, not near as on par as what we have seen with like Fantex and the other ones. So yeah, that's gone. That's going from there. What do you think about the NZXT H510 AX ATX case? So here's my thing about NZXT. We're building an NZXT PC tomorrow. Not that they are aesthetically very pleasing cases. Yes. They just look really good. Not the greatest airflow. Like just, just hands down not. Now, will it damage your components? No. But like there's things like people are like, hey, I'm gonna build a PC and an H510. I'm like, okay, then don't use a stock cooler. Like when you're gonna use, like if you're gonna, you're gonna wanna optimize for cooling when you're using a, a, an H510. And so NZXT's fans are more than capable of handling that sort of stuff. It's just, you don't wanna cheap out on airflow uh, specifically or inexpensive fans if you're building in an H510. If you build in that case, get an AIO. Yeah. Please get, uh, okay, so yeah. Yeah, Be Quiet fans are very nice, Noctua fans are very nice, all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's start building. Because I think like, we've answered questions, people have gotten their stuff. Why are I think you we're telling good fans to be quiet? Be quiet, fans. Be quiet, fans. No, no I, that's I, not I what I meant. Get, I don't get what's going Where's on. Where's my here. ice? You're you're causing me to drink. This is filled with vodka, by the way. Just kidding, no, it's not. It is like a By spoiler. the way, I still waiting for that sponsorship. Time I'm is drinking, ticking. I'm drinking an ice every day, and I try to do an every show to try and get to the. Someone trying to get reach the, out to ice. Somebody reach out to ice and get. Let's get them up it's in here. Like okay, let's grab yeah. our CP. Or let's grab our uh, our B550 motherboard. Let's start the build process. You guys have been so awesome. Hey, who's having a good time? 827 people here already. Wow, great. Who's having a good time? Let's get a raise of hand. Who's having a good time? Oh, I forgot. Guys, I forgot. Ready? Stand up. We got to stand up. We got it. We got it. We got to get the good build vibes going. Come on, this is like good part of it. Like get get vibes. the build vibes. I'm getting the I'm getting the vibes. I don't I don't. Is this getting vibes? Like is this the vibe Bert, getting movement? Bert said that they met. He messaged the. Uh... Ice oh good thank you for messaging ice and going on from twitter that. so everybody goes in there get your vibes going we're getting our epic gamer moves on build. and all that build. sort of stuff so let's build. get our vibes going build. and let's let's start the build process thank you uh thank you tech jesus or steve who's uh who was up till 4 a.m to t cover the msi news i was like okay better you than me buddy um and then <laughs> i was up at 4 a.m watching him so that maybe no that's true but going from there so absolutely so impressed with the work that they do okay so here's our motherboard getting that bad boy out and going from there. This is not a commission build. No, we're not giving this build away. If people come in, of course, a thousand people are gonna ask us, is this the giveaway? No, the giveaways, you've got the details. We'll get you that stuff. And uh, oh, one other thing, don't forget, if you hit RTX, dang it, what's the command? Uh, mods can tell you, uh, we do have builds, given the 3070 is coming out at the end of October, we have builds. I know a lot of people are asking questions, what's a great build for the 3070? We've got you covered. Mods are gonna link those in there so you guys can take a look at those. Uh, YouTube, the description already has that stuff. So if you're looking for a great 3070 build and one no components, that's all down in the description below as well. How are we doing on likes? We're at uh, 256. 256. And there's 531 people watching. Come on guys, uh, so, 531 of you just hit that like. We, you, we do a giveaway like. right now. You just no, have to hit the like. Just gotta 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 hit the, just, just hit that. Someone, someone clip that please. Someone clip that. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, yeah, we, uh, we, got, we get that all going. But we have to get it? 600? Yeah, we just have to hit the 600. Not yeah. 500. Not 500, 600, yeah. There's only 530. Yeah, but we, we have enough, we have enough, uh, we have enough uh, Twitch folks who could just pop over and get that thing going on there, too. Mm. Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, MSI, uh, MSI non-scalped uh, B550 uh, X, uh, Tomahawk board. Let's run through and let's do a quick tour real quick. Somebody was saying that, that um, someone was saying that uh, uh, our, our, um, YouTube chat is, or YouTube chat is toxic. I don't think that's true. Is that true? Thank you very much, Killick. Do we do it? Did I did I get that wrong? Or are we going from like going from there? Did somebody say that our our YouTube chat is toxic? I, that's surprising. Really? Oh man. Ooh, what do we get? What? Yeah, Alberta's saying not true. Let's get those YouTubers. Let's. See. I love you, YouTubers. Come on, guys. I love I love my community there. Uh, there we go. There. We, appreciate going for that. Okay, good, good. They're lying. Good, good. I love you, YouTubers. You're uh, you're awesome. 
Hey, what's up, Alberto? It's good to see you, man. We love all the platforms. <laughs> Gaming Turtles is like, we are toxic. Good job, Kilt Man. Yeah, good. We love you guys all. Okay, also, don't forget, Tech Talk on TikTok. You should go follow along. I'm, I'm a boomer on, on TikTok, and we're growing. So help us grow. Um, okay, here we go. Let's walk through the build here. Let's walk through the uh, thing. We're going to use an Allen wrench, because why not? Is anybody named Allen in the show? I'd like to know if there's anybody named Allen. We're using your wrench right now. So uh, starting off right here, this is our AM4 socket. This is uh, this is where we're going to stick our CPU. How many people are new? How many people are new to PC building? Can I get a raise of hands if you're new to PC building? Um, if you're new, just raise your hand um, and go from there. Uh, it, like just curious, like if you are good, good, good. Anybody new? Yeah, I know lots of people are like I'm not. I'm new. So cool. We're gonna give you guys a little tour so you know a little bit about it. I'd like to give you guys some education in terms of what we're doing. So I was trying to do educating. We got we got we got Trevor over there trying to go uh, get you those questions. So if something comes up and we go from there, we'll go from there. Cool. Um, so this is like I said, this is our AM4. Right here, um, we've got uh, these are the brackets. They come, they're only on AMD. You won't see these on Intel. There are a couple AIOs. I'm trying to think if there's more than Corsair. I think there may be a couple of AIOs. Maybe somebody can remind me. But there's at least one AIO that uses this. The stock coolers from AMD use these. In most cases, you have to remove these, but um, that's why they're here, uh, is for people to, to do coolers. Some people, like Paul, are not huge fans of this. I don't have a problem with it. It just depends, but that's what these are. Um, this is our VRM uh, heat sink. Uh, this is a this has got a single eight pin EPS power for our CPU. Still completely capable of doing any overclocking. Stop yawning. Still completely capable of doing any overclocking. So you have plenty of uh, opportunity no to overclock today. here. Um, these are our dims for our RAM. We've got four. It's in dual channel configuration. Uh, you have to put one in either either the front two slots or the rear two slots in 99.999% of cases. I think EVGA is the only one that has broken this rule and they do some weird stuff with their boards. Um, but you stick it in A2 and B2 um, is where you're going to do for activating. Because we're going to be putting all four dims in, we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to fill it all to make it look good because I'm OCD and that's what it is. Uh, up here in the top left, is, uh, we've actually got fan headers. We've got one, two right here. Uh, this is an RGB uh, header, which we're going to be using to control all of our fans. And then we've got two more fan headers here. Um, we're going to need a total of five. So we actually we have four right here, and then we've got more down here. It looks like we've got an additional one, two, three. We've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fan headers. Eight fan headers on this. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of fan headers on here. This is our CPU power. So our 12, our 24 pin ATX power um, right here. These are our, our uh, SATA uh, connectors uh, for connecting things like physical hard drives. So, um, so these are for connecting physical hard drives, which is which we're not going to be doing in today's build. Uh, down here we've got this is our uh, front panel connector. This is our front panel connector and then speaker, our PC speaker. We've got two more uh, RGB headers here. This is USB 3.2. Uh, two USB 2, again, another fan header. And then looks like we've got a more RG, another RGB header here. Um, we have two by one PCIe, uh, PCIe uh, one by 16 and one by eight. And then we've got two M.2 slots. Um, one is Gen 4 because this is B550 and the second is PCIe Gen 3. So, and then this is our B550 chipset under here. So that is it. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, Jizz Maniac is asking if he's a new subscriber for the, the, the 3081 closed at the, the end of August. So you are eligible for the 3070 giveaway, Ichigo. which is happening at, uh, Gross. which is happening at, uh, the end of this month. So going from there. Thank you very much for all those subscriptions, guys, those new subscribers and all that sort of stuff. Let's continue to get those like buttons. Let's start that giveaway here pretty soon. So that is our motherboard. Is it? That's our motherboard. Okay. That's our motherboard. We've given you the tour. Do you feel cool, cool. do you feel more informed? Do you feel more awesome now that you've gotten a tour of the uh, now that you've gotten a tour of the um, the whole thing? I know. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Okay, I feel informed. Good. That's awesome. Okay, well, let's grab our CPU. Here's our Ryzen 7 yes. 3700X. Let's get our big knife and go from there. Would you still recommend this motherboard given everything happening with MSI? <laughs> I don't, I feel bad for MSI. I don't think, I think MSI, I think that, I don't think there's anything wrong with their products. I think that they have a shady, I, I think they have some people who have gotten greedy and I feel bad for them. Do I think that, do I think they lost customer trust? Yes, yeah. but I think that they also did the same thing when they paid that reviewer to give them a good review. This is why we do not get paid for reviews. 
We get paid for overviews, but we do not get paid for reviews of, of stuff. Okay, so we'll need this and we'll need our stock you, you CPU. You want to be honest, right? Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's why we don't get paid because we don't want people to think, oh, well, he's being paid, so he has to say nice things. I, it's funny because I was watching this gentleman, which I actually have a lot of respect for. He's on TikTok. His name's Carter PCS. And uh, Carter PCS was like, hey, I, they said, hey, will you review this product? And he's like, sure. And he's like, well, I, can I get paid? And he's like, sure. And he's like, but they didn't pay me what to say. But regardless, like, even if you, like, regardless, like, people always have that question. So if they're going right. to, if they're like, oh, you know, did he, did he actually get paid to do it or whatever it was, like, you know, we want to make sure that that's going from there. So that's, that's where, that's where it, that kind of happens and stuff like that. So um, anyway, that's enough for that. Um, I have an echo. I do not have an echo. Nobody said anything about an Echo up until this thing. Okay, so one of the questions that's going in here, yeah, Car Carter's PCs, yeah, is who I'm talking about. Um, Want to let you guys know, uh, just uh, because I always like to let people know that this is a uh, authentic uh, Ryzen uh, build. Um, they uh, they sent me this official, only I got it. This is exclusive to Roby Tech. Oh, only it, I get them. It? Only oh, I get these, oh, these, these, these incredibly, incredibly like just, insanely nice certificate of authenticities that you could not you could not photocopy if you wanted to like there is no way to photocopy thing because this thing is just this thing is so this thing is so quality so go, um, i'm so lucky right i'm nice. gonna go i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go ahead and not write in my uh i'm gonna go ahead and write in my um uh my uh like why would they leave my that serial number you I mean, I guess they mass produce and they just make sure they throw it in every Yeah, box. yeah, I, I just want to go in there. They, they will just make still, sure that we go from right. there. So yeah, going from there. I'm uh, going for that. Uh, uh, going for that. Okay, so we got our CPU right here. Um, so this is our Ryzen 7 uh, 3700X. Um, so the Ryzen 7 3700X um, is, uh, like I said, it's, it's plenty powerful and we're gonna put that in. So if you're gonna install your 3700X, what you wanna do is you basically wanna just go ahead and uh, go take again. it up to the side and then you wanna grab this, just kind of open it up like this, and then you want to grab it on the side. You do not want to touch the bottom, because the pins and stuff like that, these can actually end up being really damaged. You actually have a little uh, triangle right here on the left, and that little triangle uh, is showing you how to line it up with here. So you're just going to stick it just in, just like that. It'll fit in just like that, and then you can wiggle it, and you can make sure it's in, and just pull it right down, and boom, your, uh, your whole CPU's in. No fake CPU today? Oh no, the fake CPU's right here. It is a fake CPU, yeah. Like this one, this one's this one's just sitting here. It just likes to stay out here. No Look at how dirty it is. Like it's super dirty. No fake CPU. Yeah. So it's going. It's like today. we have those. It's, yeah. So if you if you if you have one, like a lot of people, like this is this is a CPU as well. I like to just in case one goes wrong, like you you just have it. Um, oh wait, this one's this one's kind of. Oh, this one's not as good. Uh, I'll get it. I'm just gonna clean it up uh, real quick. You know, I wonder if. What if we, it's not as, it's, it needs to be flatter. Now don't open your drink. <laughs> it needs to be flatter and going from there. Um, it's like, I don't maybe, know. Maybe you need to wipe it off with one of your Clorox. Yeah, well, or wow, that's a good idea. So we'll, we'll get some make Clorox Make sure you wipe here. it on both sides to make it work better. Yeah, well, well, what we're gonna do is we have these Clorox wipes right here. And so like, it's a little bit, it, I've, I've kind of licked it a lot. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that cleaned off here real quick and uh, power wash it. And, and go from there. So, um, yep, uh, that feels good. This this should work pretty well in here, I think. <laughs> we'll get that. It's, I think it's funny because like I, I was like trying to be sly, and the people had saw me be sly, so I was like, ah, I'm not gonna do it. But everybody wants to see the fake CPU, and I like it's. Just, I think people want to break I, from people, it. Yeah, for a couple days. I because so, we're all like, oh, here it comes. Here, yeah, everybody's like ready for it, and then I didn't do it, and then you were like, wait a minute, where is it? It's I know. Like, you're like everybody's like, like, wait, 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 what do you mean he didn't do it? It's it's, it's, it's well, going. Most mostly, I said that because there's there's one day you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it, and then you did it. <laughs> I'm gonna go open this over here to make sure this doesn't. Okay, it's good. Whew. Need to hydrate. Okay, so we're good there. If all of YouTube just hit the like button, we'd do a giveaway right now. Okay, so yeah, I don't know, man. People, people, people like to fight it. People like to fight it. They don't. They want. They don't want people to tell them what to do. I must resist. I'm not. I'm just suggesting, like we'd give something away. Yeah, for we're free gonna give some away for free. All you gotta do is hit the like. It feels like a good trade. Right. Okay, so there is our cooler. Ooh. Okay, didn't get it. Whew. Um, and then we're gonna grab our Close USB. Spot. I always like to give people the hint. If you are going to install the stock cooler, and yes, mm -hmm. I don't always use the stock cooler. Remember, 
We were going to use this one, but we can't. But we can't. Um, so uh, if you're going to use a stock cooler uh, and we have a high airflow case, so this will be more than capable of that. Um, use the USB. Don't use the RGB. I've had a ton of issues with the RGB for this, so just hit mm -hmm. the uh, use the USB instead for controlling your software. The software is actually made by Cooler Master, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, but I've just had a lot of issues with the no, uh, the yeah, addressable what RGB. I, what I've read too, because I I use the Prism cooler is take out the RGB. Yeah, and just use the USB. Just use the USB. Don't use both. That's even yes. worse. Don't I, use I, one or the other. I had both installed because I didn't know. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's that's definitely. That'll learn you. That'll learn you. Yep. If you had my fake CPU, you would have known right away. If I had the fake CPU, I would be. You would. Your PC wouldn't turn on. Um, <laughs> if we up here in the top left, uh, the CPU fan is in the top left. Is right here on the edge. We're just gonna plug that in like that. And there it goes. And then way this works is there's a couple brackets here. Um, there's gonna be one here and one on the other side. There's a couple brackets right here. What you wanna do is you wanna essentially get these brackets over the little brackets here, pretty straightforward. So we're gonna clip that one in like that. And that one's on and then you set it down and then you just grab the other one on the other side and same thing. Uh, it's not too quiet, but it's not. You guys, like, it's funny because I, I can never win with you guys. Some people are like, the vault, the piece. No, the no, no, they're talking about the, the cooler, the stock cooler. Oh my, yeah, I don't actually, I haven't heard it. So it's, some people have said that it's, they've actually noticed it louder, but I have yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell when it's on. Okay, let's get this on. I'm gonna get this on to the... If, if you're looking for like quiet, you might as well just go without it. Get a be quiet. Sure. Why are you telling me to be quiet? I always tell you to be quiet. Yeah, you do. Okay, going to, we're... It's like, sometimes you have like issues with this. I, I just want to go with the Cooler Master or go AIO. Yeah. Okay, going like that. The Noct 2 is like, are nice and quiet. If you're looking for something like quiet, I mean like you're, like it's still like, anything's better than the Intel stock fan, I'll be honest. Oh my gosh. That, that thing, thing was, wow. That we, thing was sketchy. Like, yeah, it was. how like, can you include that? I don't know, man. It's crazy. Okay, we're trying to, it's being wacky here. Uh, he has not Cato. What did, it, what did they ask? Uh, ha have you announced the winner? And all guys, for the most part, if it's a big giveaway, it'll happen at the end of the stream. Just rule of thumb. You, all of you have been here long enough just to know. It's like, hey, if it's a big giveaway, I want you guys to stick around and watch the end of the stream. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's on. There you go, come on. I feel like it's just like extra hard today. Oh, it's already on. I'm like, what, what is the problem? Oh, it's actually locked. Okay, so what you're gonna do is once you have it locked in like that, there's a little lever right here. You're just gonna clip that down like that. It's now locked in. And then what I always like to do is grab my, uh, my special gift from the fine folks over at The Verge, my tweezers. We're gonna go and uh, zip tie this bad boy together. So it's yeah, just kind of hidden. I never thought about doing that. Yeah, this is what, so that way you just, you've got it done. It's just, you don't have to worry about it. So zip tie this up so we can hide it behind the VRM. It looks all 200 nice 200 more lats. There we go. And just like that, now it's all cable managed and looks pretty. Okay. So just gonna clip that like that. And then we are clean. These pipes are clean. I'd say that the stock cooler is better than most other stock coolers. Oh yeah, they're dude. The they I a lot it's just of people. Kind of noisy. That's that's it. I think a lot I mean. of people like really dig this stock cooler. Now, um, one of the things is like if you are, we have a on the bottom here is actually these little these little plastic nubs. I guess is what they're called. We're gonna unremove one of these, the smallest one, and then you'll see a little adapt, a little hookup like this. Oop, you guys get to see that little hookup like this right there. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to grab our H our USB cable. Unplug this, you have a little USB cable. You wanna just basically plug that in down here, like so, and then it just hooks up. And then there, you're, now your now you're, uh, USB is connected. Now, the one thing I will say about this, if you wanna know, um, uh, if you wanna know something awesome is that uh, this is too short. I would love to just run this through the back. One out of every 15 builds that I've done, 
um, that's worked for the most part. Usually you have to do stuff like run this down the side like this to kind of hide it. Yes. And then you have the mother, you actually have the GPU um, holding it down. But because we're vertically mounting that, it's less of an issue in this case, so. It's real ugly on my case. Yeah. The thermal take view. It's, it, it's just unfortunate that it's just like, it probably needed like an extra, it wasn't even something that's crazy. Like if it would have gotten like an extra three inches, it would have made all the difference in the world. So we're gonna put this away along with our- So are you excited tomorrow? I am excited, we're gonna stream it. The hope is it's supposed to stream it. We're gonna see all the, you know, and don't forget guys, I think, can you find out what time it starts? I think it starts at 10, right? Is it, what time is it PST? Uh, we will be streaming that live uh, on Twitch. That we're here on Twitch and YouTube. We will stream the Rise and Announce uh, live. So you will be able to watch that together. It, I don't think it'll be nine. A, it starts at nine. So nine we'll be streaming that starting PT, at nine a.m. PT, PT. Um, to watch the watch the uh, watch the uh, the uh, Rise and Announce. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and throw in our RAM real quick. Oh, I'll be taking my first break. So yeah, we'll find all about out all about that, and then of course, uh, very quickly after that, we will know when we'll start doing Ryzen 5000 series. I guess it's 5000 series. We'll find out when we're going to start doing Ryzen 5000 series builds, because I know that will be a uh, I bet you it's like all 3080, all 5000 series for a long time. Um, okay, so pulling this out now, Ryzen is announcing their new chipsets. Yeah, Robert they're... Howdy, Hardy. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Here's a beautiful Pride and Royal Z Neo. Now, when you're putting in RAM, there's a little slot right here. What you would do is you take that little slot, just want to line it up like that, and then just push it. There you go, just like that. 9 a.m. 12, or 9 a.m. Pacific, 12. P.m. Eastern. P.m. Eastern. Yeah. Making sure I line that up right. Okay, there we go, we're good. There we go, that's in. In like Flynn. Open up our next one. YouTube, we need you. 170 more likes and we'll do a giveaway. And click that in. Nice and solid click. Click, 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 click. Yeah, I did that last time. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I gotta, I gotta find other jokes to start going in, other bill jokes, but you those ones a, are just so classic. Like a button on the stream deck. Click. Let's just click, yeah. Like that's what we should do. We should add like some, some like physical gags. Like every time I click, we have a revolver. No, wait, no, that'd be a bad one. Do you want to start playing Russian roulette? <laughs> just with you. <laughs> okay, so I just pass it between my hands or? <laughs> no, no baby, no, no baby. Hey, see you later, it's Clove. Um, no baby ram today, because we filled them all. I don't want to, I don't want to throw baby ram in here, knowing that what if we had baby ram, then it'd have no place to go. Like, yeah, so. It's just a waste. Yeah, it'd just be a waste if we did that. Okay, let's open up and put our M.2 in real quick. Here, grab our small one. Um, given this is USB 3.2, um, we could do Gen 4. Um, I'm just gonna throw it down here in the bottom slot because it's right here. It does not matter. You can stick it in the top slot. There's no rhyme or reason why I'm not sticking the time slot, the top slot. It's just this one is right here and closer and that is why I'm sticking it right there. We're gonna zoom in on that and grab our, there you go. <clears throat> And here we go. Okay, so there is a little slot right here in the PCB. You just wanna line it up with the little slot there and just kind of push it in. There is no, um, there is no, and I've already peeled it off at the bottom. This is a, we've used this motherboard before. Um, there is no uh, peel um, and there is no little screw because this actually holds it down. This little heat shield holds it down. You're gonna screw that back in. Oopsie, unless our magnet gets in the way and just acts up like a jerk. Do you think Nvidia would announce their 3060 same day? No, they would have. They would have. As... They would, no, I think a lot of companies think that things like that are are stuff that they do to like sabotage. That's not true. I think that I think what'll happen they'll yeah. they'll do it. They'll actually Nvidia it, 3060 is too important to Nvidia. I mean, it's like one. It's going to be one of their bread and butter cards. Mm -hmm. They'll give it the same. They'll give it the same love that they if did to 38. Real. Yeah, if it's real. Well, it is real. It's just the question sure. is when. Dude, the thing is, is that if they're having a hard time keeping up demand with 3080s and 30, they don't have they don't have production to throw 3060s in there. It's usually when they start to meet demand for 3080s that you'll see the 3060s come out. They're making more money off of the high. 
they want to make more money off of their high-end dies because that's where right. the majority of their their uh, their money is. So, <clears throat> okay, yeah, thirty seventies are going to be yeah, they're going to be crazy. Okay, so we've got our motherboard is built, ready to go. We're uh, just now at an hour into the show, and it took us that long to build the motherboard. No, that's not true. We did other things too. So going from here, yeah, that's about right though. That's pretty typical, but we don't have an AIO an in. Hour. We don't have an AIO in, so it's like, this is going to go pretty quick. Okay, so here is our case. Oh, and we already stripped the case. I forgot about that. So we don't even have the oh, case over you because yeah. we've already done all that stuff. Um, we are going to add three more fans real quick. So, editing this video will be easy. Yeah. So we have three more fans we're going to add because Fantex hooked us up. So appreciate that, Fantex. We're going to make it look RGB awesome. RGB, it's got to be a pun. How much should you spend on a GPU? Is there a limit? Well, yeah, the most is $1,500 because that's... Oh, well, I mean, like... Uh, I don't understand the question. Well, they just said... Is there a question here? Yeah, no, there was. Is there a question? Is there a question? Porter Ga Graph asked, guys, how much should you spend on a PSU? On a PSU? Yeah. That's different. That's what, a, you what? said GPU. Did I? Yes. I was like, what? Uh, you I'm should, sorry. Again. Uh, PS here. Let me, here's my thing. Like the things that you shouldn't cheap out on. So if your PSU fails or if it sparks or if it, uh, or if it, God forbids, um, overloads, it's going to fry your entire PC. So things that I would recommend not cheaping out on is things like PSUs. Um, I think I need to relearn how oh, to Oh, I should really not use this camera angle. Thanks for catching that there, Oh, geez, buddy. where was it? Okay. Sorry, I don't have... You got a super chat, by the way. Oh, super chat. Who gave it? Thank you very much. John John, another $5. What's, what's going on? Yeah, 80 plus, any plus, 80 plus bronze from a known manufacturer. I have a tendency to stay away from uh, manufacturers you don't know and who have not been reviewed. And there's only like two, got, two people who really do hardware, uh, uh, who really do PSU reviews because it's very technical. Um, and so one of the problems is, is that you might have new companies that pop in on the scene who are like, oh, we've got this great new PSU, but I would honestly wait for it to be reviewed because even like I might throw in a build and the PC might boot up, but I don't know if, I don't necessarily know if that means that it's any good, right? So I'm um, going from there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rubber grommets on this thing. These little rubber grommets are um, just to help with fan noise and because they're here, I like to put stickers on. So we're gonna put stickers on. It's sticker John, John, time. John John asked where you got your anti-static mat from. Oh, so these anti-static Macs were specifically made for influencers. We are going to be selling them. I know I've been saying that for like a year. Four, no, it's only been four months. Oh, okay. I've been on, on Twitch. Uh, they, I have seen, we showed off the final design. We showed off the near final design, uh, what, a couple weeks ago. And we know the price will be between 60 and and $100. So there you go. There's an even bigger update because you know what the cost and wow. stuff is going to be. We are working on them. They are coming. Um, uh, just stay tuned, guys. So we're putting our rubber grommets on here. Rubber, rubber, rubber the grommet here. Rubber the grommet. Kermit the, Kermit the frog. Kermit the frog here. Kermit. Kermit. Oh, Kermit. Okay. I, this is like, I, I've had this with their hey, other hey, ones bird. too. Hey, bird. Um, Wallace, yeah, Wallace and Gromit. There we go. That's a good one. I like, I like that show. Who, who is I, like? I don't think I, it's a very British. I don't think a lot of Americans. Have, but my wife absolutely loves Wallace and Gromit. Okay, there we go. Got another one. Is your wife English? Well, you're English too. I, mean, I speak English. Uh, no, she's just. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how we found Wallace. My mother and Gromit. In -law. But then we got it like on DVD, back when DVDs were a thing. Remember when DVDs were a thing? I do. I have a collection. I, I don't. I, I, have, I have like no physical discs anymore. I think it's funny because like, I think we took all of our, we even got rid of all our Blu-rays. Wow. Yeah. Cause I don't I even think do I, I just can't. Uh, uh, okay, so we're getting there. Um, let's see, uh, we want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and pull air in. So we'll exhaust out. So we'll do, we'll do, we'll do this way for that. Uh, Ernie is the correct. Porter Gaff, when is the best PSU to buy for a mid? What is the best PSU to buy for a mid-tier PC? I know all the other parts, but I'm worried it'll either fry the PC or be too. So I would do the the, uh, the one that I'm using today, the Cooler Master. Uh, they they're 
Brands I'm okay with Cooler Master, the Cooler Master 750 GA. I've used their other their other uh, their other PSUs. Um, NZXT, which uses um, is another good brand uh, because it's basically uh, just a re like a reskinned. Um, the um, Silverstone, um, I would say uh, EVGA. Um, with those, some people complain about noise. I haven't had that problem, but yeah, some people it. complain about wine. Um, and then Co Corsair. Um, and then thermal take is okay. I know a lot of people have used a thermal take. I'd say outside, I would not use Rosewell. I've had to use them in builds before. I don't much care for them. I don't know enough about them to use them. So those are kind of my recommendations um, in terms of, okay, there we go. That was a five dollar super chat. What was that one? Oh, is that the question from the yeah. final? Oh, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. C Sonic, that was yeah, sorry. That was who makes C Sonic is the one who makes NZXT and C Sonic. Yes, you are apps. I is could it, I blanked it, on their name. Is it C Sonic that makes a bunch? Yeah, C Sonic, a lot of people reskin C Sonic yeah. ones. Would you fry? No, your system would just shut off. You won't fry your system, but uh, there's always a chance when you lose power and your PC just suddenly dies for a chance to actually do permanent damage to components. So uh, you could. The answer is you could, it shouldn't, but I wouldn't risk it. That's why like when people are like, oh, I'm gonna use YouTube. a six, 650 watt power supply with 3080, oh, and it boots, but then you don't know when all of a sudden it's gonna lose power and then what that could do to your drives, to anything. So yeah, Asus power supplies are good too, yes. They're just overpriced, but yes, they are good. I, I think they, they are also reskinned. I didn't know that they made. Yeah, that, uh, we've used them. They're Thor, they're ROG Thor and stuff okay. like that. So um, we actually have a white one sitting in the I, other I'm room. Just, I guess I'm used to the Cooler Master, Thermal Take, EVGA, EVGA, Corsair. Yeah, we've used yeah. a lot of their stuff in, in theirs ones. So I need a, like uh, thoughts on Intermax. Likes. I have not used Intermax, but given how good their I, their AIOs are, I would not. I do not recommend Intermax, just given that uh, their AIO nightmare that they have right now. So there we go. We're gonna we're just gonna pull air. We're gonna. We're gonna be doing a lot of exhaust. Should I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of exhaust. We're just gonna have a lot of exhaust. Fractal design. I haven't used theirs either. I don't know a ton about uh, fractals. Uh, there, I know a lot of people make PSUs. The thing is, is like, one of the things that you do is a lot of times, most of those, like NZXT and those guys, they're just reskinned. Yeah. So go in there and see, like, go in and see if they are, and then go check reviews. Like, I am not, I don't think I'm qualified, honestly. Like I used what I used, but I'm not qualified to really speak on some of the qualities of uh, certain PSU. So I don't want to steer you wrong. I could be wrong. I just know that I know a lot of people have had problems with Rosewell. I know a lot of people have had not had problems with the ones, the the Seasonic and the Silverstones and some of those, like a lot of people haven't had issues. So I'm going off of what the masses say, but that's not to say you shouldn't make up, go and look, do your do own your research. Own research. Yeah, for sure. Like we try to give you the information, but sometimes like there are just things that we're not very, like there are things that I don't have answers for. There are things that, There's you know, other people do. I will research like better and yeah. have a preference. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So some Ben Clark uses the fractal design. Oh, how are we doing on likes? All right. So we got that. We need 120 more. Man, you guys just stopped the likes all of a sudden. There's 900 people on YouTube. And... Okay. Let's go ahead and throw in our fans. Not you guys. Come on, YouTube. I meant the fans. I meant the, the build fans. Okay, here we go. Side view, side camera. Everybody likes the side camera. Because you get the you get the quality view of the fan installation. Wow, that's really low. Right up here. There we go. There we go. Cool. We are up. We're in. Like we're Flynn. Up. We're in. It's like magnets there. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to be daisy chaining all of our fans together, which is nice. So it makes it easy. I mean, that's one of the things that's always nice about using like the same ecosystem is that stuff like this just becomes simple. So we're going to undo all of our fans here real quick. Since we don't have an AIO, we'll just install a bunch of fans instead. Give it max airflow. Max airflow. <clears throat> okay, popping this in right here. We got we got our we got our dampeners our sound dampeners on. I want to give him more of a live feel. There we go. He's got he's got he's got live feel going on right now. We got we got we got Trevor behind the camera. 
We got a cameraman in place right now. <clears throat> Let people go. There we go, skate. This is the P360A. This is a brand new case, just came out today. This is a brand new case from Fantex. They just sent it to you today? No, I actually got it, no, I got it a while ago. But they, this, this case Whoa. is out released as of today. 600 likes equals- Somebody hit a, somebody, su a Porter Graf, thank you very much for the super chat. I don't know what you asked. What, do we know what oh, he asked? I, uh, I will find it. We will find it and we will get you your question. How much should you spend on the motherboard for a mid-tier PC? Uh, so mid-tier, what we, uh, for a mid-tier, anywhere between $150 and $220. I think that's a good range. In fact, we would consider like stuff like the N7 from, the N7 from uh, NZXT that just came out is a good, what you would consider mid-tier um, um, uh, motherboard. Um, but yeah, anywhere between $150 and $220 is what I'd consider a mid-tier motherboard. And what you get with that is you'll get, you'll get additional support, like things like Wi-Fi 6, you'll get Bluetooth, you'll get better VRM. Um, and again, like th there's some places where that kind of, that argument kind of falls down. Uh, main reason being is like, if you're buying like a premium, like X570 versus B550 is where you might see, like if you go and buy like $130 X570, because the ceiling is where it is for X570, it might be okay to buy something like that. But ideally that's where I'd say your target price is gonna be. And that has a tendency to be where mine usually end up is right around that, right around that point. One hundo more. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Ooh, that was a knife that just fell. Whew, that I dodged. I almost had to take Roby to the hospital. <laughs> that was a that was a whoa. I like I saw that going down. I was like, whoa. That could have been bad. Let's throw a, a couple more, a couple more RGB fans in here. Don't wanna die but almost did. Okay. A couple more. I'm gonna give him a super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat. Jeffrey Schreiber. What do you think of pre-built gaming PCs? So we are covering, uh, so we showed an MSI one. Um, I think one of the things I always look for is what the best deal is because obviously anytime you buy an MSI, uh, sorry, anytime you buy a pre-built PC, you are going to pay a surcharge for, um, you know, just them having the parts. And so a lot of it is like looking at value. Um, we just got the NZXT BLD. Uh, it's actually sitting in the other room. We opened it up on TikTok and that TikTok will be live, I think tomorrow, um, that to show it off, we're gonna be reviewing that here on the show at a later date, um, just to show what you get. So. I don't have an issue with um, I don't have an issue with um, pre-builds, uh, especially when you're talking about things like Falcon Northwest, Main Gear, um, Origin. Those have a tendency to be really good PCs, but they have they also have a tendency to be very expensive. Um, and so the one thing is is that the benefit is you get the warranty, um, and so you have a single warranty to cover all of your stuff. Uh, the downside is is that you're paying. Um, you're paying overhead for, you know, somebody else basically putting together your PC. So if you're okay with overpaying, then I think a pre-build and then staying away from, you know, I, I like, I'm not necessarily a fan of like things like I buy power, the, the Walmart power PC. Um, but like, like uh, there are other companies that like, I think if you're going to do it, you might as well specialize just like you would anywhere else. But I, I think a lot of times the people, people buy like pre-built like ABS and stuff like that because they can use things like a firm and they may not necessarily be able to spend the money to, you know what I mean? So they'll finance them. And so that's, yep. I think there's just some other options there that there's more buying options for PCs like that. That's why I like um, to do it. And so that's why, you know, other reasons that people do it. There's nothing wrong with those PCs. It's the same hardware we put in. Um, it's just, uh, again, um, you're just paying more. Sometimes they go with the lowest of low. Yeah, and there's a, there's like some like, like that's why power and stuff like that. Yeah, they'll use they'll use not they won't use premium they won't use premium parts because again they're buy. they're a business and they're trying to make money right. and so that's why I like NZXT NZXT I know what all of their parts are uh, but again that's not to say their six hundred dollar build cool. for what I could build for six hundred bucks um, would be better. We'll be live streaming AMD's, yes, I will be live streaming AMD's presentation tomorrow. Actually, when I get done here, I'm gonna be heading home and making sure everything's set up to do that in the morning. Who's, so. who's ball Patrick said, 
Wait, I'm buying someone to. I'm paying someone to build my PC. You're building not a yes, but yours is not a pre-built. Yours is a. Yours is a. <laughs> Well, I guess, yeah, yours is not a pre-built, yours he put, is a custom theme. It also had like a, the, the smiley face. Oh yeah, because he's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's actually having me build his PC, yeah. so yes, that is true. I figured. But yeah. Wait a second. That's funny, foosball. Too late now, I have all your parts. <laughs> <laughs> Booty is also having a, yeah, we're building booties tomorrow, uh, Friday. Booty. Yeah, that's a that is a pricey PC. We're it's talking Threadripper, 128 booty. gigs of RAM. It's a yeah, it's <laughs> it's a yeah, it's bootylicious. Um, okay, I'm gonna put these in here because I forgot. I actually... Cole Martin said he's pretty mad that you didn't wear the unicorn while you built his PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're mad. That is true. It is your constitutional right not to have to hit the like button. You do not have to hit the like <laughs> button. If if you do not feel like hitting the like button, you're, it's, it's, you're right. It is your right. That's just one more person that we won't be getting. Um, one like away that we won't be getting. Okay. Um, let's see. We have all of our fans in now. We have plenty. Of, there is actually... There's actually a good amount of room. It's not as nice as the, so like one of the, we're talking about feedback and I've got fans in there. Uh, top mounting AIO, like we just have fans. So a top mounted AIO could be potentially rough in here. Uh, once we get the motherboard in, we're gonna throw that in right now and go from there. But before I do that, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put our motherboard in. So and we'll see how much room we have. Okay. Wow, that's not very nice, Cole Martin. Okay, let's grab our motherboard here. Pop this in. There we go. And just like that. There we go. So I we actually have no, there's actually I apologize. there's actually quite a bit of room uh, up at the top if you wanted to. I am sorry. Okay. I'm very sorry, ma'am. So here is our accessories, of which you get again sponsored by The Verge. You get some extra, you get some extra zip ties or or tweezers. There we go. Pull those out. These are like gold here. And then we're gonna grab our motherboard screws. Very sorry, Cole. Martin. Okay. So the screws for this that we're gonna be using are the little ones. They have the little lip on it. That's how you usually in most cases outside of I think Cooler Master is the only one that I haven't seen like that where they use like, they look like PSU screws, but most part, uh, the screws for motherboards have a tendency to have like little lips around them, which usually makes them easy to pick out. Okay, filling those in real quick. I grab, I forgot to grab um, cable extensions. Sorry, there's over, there's about 15 people in chat, so I can't read everything. There we go. Hey, start to eat, start at start my first PC. Any tip for me? If you're starting your first PC, um, I think the big thing is is just watch a lot of the how-to guides. We've got a lot of great how-to guides that should prepare you. Um, don't watch the Verge one. That's another tip. Don't watch the Verge one and realize how to uh, how to not do it. So yeah, that would be those would be my two biggest tips because the how-to guides are always going to be the best thing in terms of getting you prepared. And then just don't be afraid, man. Jump, jump, jump in. But I would always like if you want to be super prepared. Just take a look at uh, take a look at some good guides like the one that I've made or Bitwit. Paul's Hardware made some great ones, and Jay has one. So all of us with million with a million plus views. So really, really great ones. How you feel about 3080s being delayed? I don't think they are delayed. Uh, 3080s. I know that 3080s are still coming in stock um, all the time. So I don't know what that means. Okay, and I think we've got one more here. Got one more screw, and then we're we got all the screws in. There's not this build is not going to go. This build is actually going to be pretty fast, because we all we have is like after this we got to throw. It's like we're going to throw in our we're going to do our vertical mount. So we're going to see how to vertically mount in this new case, and then yeah. But first we're going to add all our <coughs> power supply stuff and everything. So do front panels after this. Okay. There we go. Uh, motherboard is in, and we're good there. Put all this stuff back in here. Oopsie, Where did we dropped the screw. Oh, there it is, I found it. I found the screw. Found the screw? Don't be, don't be scared. I found the screw. 
them back to me. Wow, these are like super long. Like, I guess it's to hold the, the zip ties. Like, why is this bag so long? But there you go, long. And then you can also use it as a defense mechanism. Ah. Back away, back away. Remember guys, when I ever, if I ever get in there, it's like, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna survive the zombie apocalypse, go find your local PC retailer. Like you got, then you use like this weapon to help fend off zombies. Zambies. Uh, this is not, so Cosmic Jordan's asking, is this a, this is not a build commission. This is just a build to show off the 368. Nobody is, new nobody case, has, who this? yeah, new case, who this? Yeah, exactly. That's a great, wow, I like that. So, so, so uh, modern day of you. every once in a while. New case, who this? I like that. Um, okay, we're going to throw this down in the hole, like so, just to get it out of the way. So we're gonna do real quick because we know this is not, well, I'm curious, this is a shorter case, but the USB is in a weird spot, so we're gonna, I'm just not, I'm just gonna not trust it. Okay, so what we're doing is this right here is the USB for our AIO, for our, our cooler. I'm gonna plug that in right here, and what I did is there's a little hole down here in the bottom that I fed it through, and then I'm gonna hide this, I'm just gonna kind of rub it, run it, rub it, run it um, along the side here. Now we are vertically mounting, so, um, won't won't be a big deal. Most of that will be hidden. Usually we we'll hide this with the GPU when we put it in, but we're not we're not doing a we're doing a vertically mounted GPU, not a horizontally mounted. Yeah, horizontally mounted GPU. So there you go. Um, okay, so uh, motherboard's in. Let's go ahead and add our front panel connectors and plug in our fans, and then we'll go and do GPUs and all that sort of stuff. I got five fans up here. I can do three fans here and a couple of fans down here. So I'm just making sure I know where all the fan headers are. USB 3.2 is here. We have no USB-C. 70 more likes. 70 likes away, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finish it out. Okay. So now is the time where we go and find all of these. John John Super Chat. Thank you very much. What did you say this time? John John's been dropping, dropping. <laughs> I've been some... watching, 10, watching 10 times the nine fans you put it on the Lian Lee. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that is a uh, that's a popular that's a popular build. The Lee and Lee, it's just I mean it's a great case, um, but it's a very popular build. Okay, we got two fan headers up here, right? We got oh, do we have one in the corner? I thought there was one. Is there one in the corner? No. So we've got one. I've got three over here. Okay, cool. So I got three over here. So we're gonna run these two fans right in here. I'm gonna pop those into that little hole there. You're gonna go in. Get into your hole. Okay, they're in their hole. They're in their hole. Ooh, they're in, sort of in their hole. Okay. And then the GP, this is uh, our GPU, GPU, this is, sorry, RGB chaining. So those are all chained together now. So this is all chained and ready. So we're gonna, take, we need to make sure there's a lot of length for this. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to not zip those up yet. Those are going for there. And then Porter, this. Super chat. What's that one? Same guy? Nope. Porter Graph. What does Porter say? Porter, what's your what's your question? What kind of case should I get for my first PC build? I'm looking to spend less than 75 on a decent looking case. Uh, what, do you not like this one? Because this is a great $70 uh, decent looking case, I think. And it's a great airflow case. So this might be a great option for you if you are looking for said. Stay tuned as an HDMI. Okay, cool. Um, okay, fan header. So we're gonna stick this fan header down here. We're gonna take our... Which is better, the Ryzen Stock Cooler or the Cooler Master 212 Black Edition? That's, the Hyper 212 is obviously going to be better. It's got bigger fan, bigger cooling, so that's going to be better. And remember, Cooler Master actually made the Hyper... Uh, the Cooler Master actually did make the, um, the, uh, the stock cooler that you use. Okay, so this is... What is this? This is the D8. This is addressable RGB. Okay, this is our RGB, addressable RGB header. So we're gonna put that in there. Where is the, I'm looking for, okay, HD audio goes over here. And then that's what I was looking for. No, I need the normal header. Okay, so that goes in here. That's your, that's your HD audio. This is our USB 3.2, which is here, okay. USB I mean, 3.2. It is in cooler. It's in the name, so you know you got to be good at cooling, right? <laughs> well, they're 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 really known for cases, right? So they've been. I mean, a lot of companies are doing a lot more of that stuff. Okay. Right. So what I'm looking for right now is the. Oh, I bet you I know why. It's because it's plugged into this. 
So if I plug that into that, there's another header. There's something I'm missing a, what I'm looking for is the RGB header that allows me to, that's for the fan. So I have one more RGB header somewhere. And this looks like it should be here, but it's and it's not it's not going in there. So I gotta figure out how to plug this into the RGB. Oh wait, I bet you I probably just have to use two. What do we got here? There's a fan splitter. Oh, they did give you a fan splitter. And then this is a, okay, that allows me to actually connect this with this. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here and plug this into here, which allows me to now have my RGB fans all connected together. Like that. Okay. And then this, this goes into, oh, no, maybe that doesn't. Maybe that's not what I did. That's a line. I need this to plug into one of these. Oh, I need to plug into this. Okay. And now we are all hooked up. Okay, now all of our fans are all, should all be good to go. So what we're gonna do right now, we got all that done, is we don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cable manage yet because I need to, need to get everything plugged in first. Okay, so everything's all hooked up. We've just run all of our cables into the right, right areas, the right holes. We're gonna turn this over and plug them all in now. Erg. Boom. Okay. Oh, of course. Oh, that just fell off for a second. What am I good for? Absolute nothing. Okay, there we go. And then we have two more of these fans. I'm gonna see if one of these is long enough to go to the other side. Ow, 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 I hurt myself. Gonna put blood on the ram again? Yeah, I'm gonna put blood on the ram. I think this is the shorter one. I gotta find the shorter one. Okay, so this is the shorter one. We're gonna put this in here. There's another fan header. And we'll zoom in so you guys can see all these here real quick. Um, down here at the bottom. 20 more likes, YouTube, and we'll do giveaway. Yeah, more addressable RGB. We only have one connector for power. This is your power switch, so that makes it easy. Only one front panel connector. We're gonna plug that in. There we go. And then the our- RAM guides demand blood. <laughs> it, it helps with making baby RAM. Okay, so those are gonna go to the other side, so we're not gonna use that there. This is going to go right here. And then we got to move that too. Okay, so a lot of the places where I stuck the fans are not the right place. Good job, Roby. Everybody say good job, Roby, because you didn't put them in the right place. Good job, Roby, because you didn't put them in the right place. Okay, there's that. HD audio goes right here. You hit 600? <laughs> then we need one more. 600! Addressable RGB. Oh, there's one. Oh, cool. No, that was the right place. Dang it. Good job, Roby. You did stick it in the right place, and then you stuck it back through the hole like a moron. We're gonna fix that real quick. Then you're out. Right, Six hundred. We got. We're gonna start a giveaway in just a few seconds, guys. Okay. Throw this addressable RGB on here real quick. And we're gonna do our. Do our do that. I think that's on. And then we're gonna grab our two fan headers and get those out. Okay. And then we'll do our giveaway. Their giveaway has not started. Calm down. Yeah, calm down, guys. I just, come on. I'm excited. Jeez. Everybody's like, I'm excited. I'm ready for the giveaway. I've worked so hard at hitting that like button. Trying to get these fan headers out that are stuck in here. Oh, what's that, guys? Oh, there we go. There's one. We have one more fan header to get out, which is where? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Found it. Okay, now let's start that giveaway. Okay, here we go. Starting the giveaway now, guys. Thank you for the subscriptions. Uh, all widgets. Nope. Podbot. Giveaways. Custom. Okay, so this is for three months of Game Pass. Uh, you. Uh, Twitch folks, you do not get extra entries for this because the fine folks at YouTube unlocked it for the 600 likes. We're gonna start that giveaway right now. Okay, three minutes, guys. Exclamation point YouTube, get in on that giveaway. It's crazy how much warmer it is in this room than 
It's because you're full of hot air. I'm you're hot gonna... air. Okay, there we go. Oh, that one's like just, sh that one's short. I don't know if that's gonna, I'm gonna find a special place to put that one in. Okay, that's gonna go right there. I don't know if that's gonna reach. Ooh. Uh, do I have, I have, how many fan connectors? I have one right there, this system fan right there. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. Found another place to plug that one in. And then the last thing I need is fan header. This one. Pull that fan header out. We're just pulling this one fan header out. I'm pulling the right fan header out. Okay. And this one is going to go here. Okay. Now we can hook in our last two fans, and all of our fans are hooked up. And then we'll show you all the fan headers we hooked up. I mean, all the cables we hooked up so you guys can get a good, clear view of what we've done here. If you are building in the same PC. This one's going to go right here. There we go. I like how many fan headers this motherboard has. And then this one is going to go right here. Okay, so all of our front panel connectors are hooked up and we are now have a pretty much close to hooked up PC. Cool. So we'll zoom in and talk about all the cables we just connected so you guys can see what we've done. Okay, so up here in the top left, we've got uh, our far left exhaust fan and then these two fans, which are our two top uh, exhausts that we've built um, are actually going to be uh, right here. So those, those, those fans down here at the bottom we're zoom down here in the bottom. So this one right here is one of our front fans, one of our front fans. Right next to it, this is our addressable RGB, which will control all the RGB for the MSI board for all of the fans that are hooked up, including the lighting strip here in the front. Underneath this is our front panel connector. We only have one front panel, which is our power switch. Next to it is USB 3.2, which is right here. Uh, then we've got, uh, this is our uh, USB for uh, basically controlling the light on our uh, prism cooler next to it is another fan header which is another one of these front fans probably the bottom one and then over here on the far left is hd audio um right over here and that's our hd audio connector now what we're going to do is turn it over now we can actually go ahead and knowing that everything's done just quickly cable manage and then uh add our power cables and our front mount gpu stuff so we're going to do real quick it'll be pretty fast so now we now get this rat's nest under control now we don't have a ton of room uh, up at the top yeah he, she's already a ghost of m congratulations ghost of m you are the winner of the uh youtube uh the youtube drawing and he is from youtube so congratulations on that ghost of m pulls down the first the first win giveaway win of the night we still have the 50 dollars new a gift card which i'm pretty sure will become the 100 dollars new a gift card um, and that's still coming up as well okay We've got that going now. Now we're going to try and get these together. Again, what we're trying to do is just clear a lot of this stuff up. So it's nice and tidy, but not too much of a dangling mess here. Which some of this stuff really is. Okay. Some dangling mess. Some dangling mess. We just want to get keep things kind of clumped together. There's not a lot of tie downs here in the back. So you, you do know that you're going to have some loose cables and so nothing's going to really help you with like getting your cables like super close. Robotech, this is the first giveaway I won. Thank you. You're welcome. It's always because again, we have a lot of the rules. It's usually a lot of times like people go, it's like we do have a lot of rules in terms of repeat winners and stuff like that. So keep right. it, keep it, keep it even. Blondie runs a tight ship, runs a tight ship, tight ship here in the, uh, here in the, in the whatever I'm going to say. <laughs> Okay. Over here on the Twitches. On the Twitches and the YouTubers. Okay, now we're gonna run this into here and then start cable managing this stuff down below. So that way it just kinda actually starts to feed into this like it's supposed to. We have a lot of room here in this. Uh... There we go. There we go, we got our cables kind of controlled there tightly. I'm going to go ahead and throw one more right around this one here. 
Oops. Okay, there we go. And there you go. Okay, and then this is our other <coughs> weird RGB ones, which we don't need or need to worry about. <coughs> quickly put these into our underneath here like this. What's your thoughts and level of enthusiasm for Zen 3 tomorrow? Um, you know, it's funny because it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how excited I really am. Um, I don't like Zen, like, I think what, what I'd love to see is if like their single core performance, if there's some sort of massive jump in their single core performance, but, um, I don't know, man, it's, it's, it's so, un, it's just so crazy to know how well, um, AMD is done as of late, right? So like to have them coming so close and so quickly when we're still waiting for like a response to Zen 2 from uh, uh, Intel, they, Intel and they Intel hasn't that. even done that. So it's like, it, it kind of feels like, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, even when AMD was releasing the 5700 XT, people were arguing like, oh, between the 5700 XT and for instance, the Titan. And so, I mean, sorry, against versus NVIDIA, and there was an argument there, but you know, if, if they come out and they do like, if they have some sort of crazy single threaded performant, uh, you know, CPU tomorrow, like that's just like nuts that really dethrones, like dethrones even Intel as a gaming, G as the top gaming CPU. That like that would just nuts. be like, what? Like there would like, and then there there's like, at that point in time, there's like really no point in owning an Intel CPU. So I'm curious, but I don't like, I just don't know. Like, I don't know where else they go. Cause I don't, I like a lot of people, a lot of applications just honestly don't take advantage of Ryzen. Um, like the Ryzen multi-threaded, like gaming specifically still doesn't. I know we have like the series X and those are now taking, are now using like uh, the, you know, the Ryzen CPUs and stuff. Um, but like, again, still, I think like, I just, I don't know what to think. Like, that's just the truth. I don't, I, I really don't, I can't, I'm not going into it like I was with the NVIDIA one where it's like, oh my God, I'm just so excited right. about what, you know, what the next like, gen GPUs are going to be. Because how like- How much of a jump can they make in a year, what, a year and a half? Yeah, exactly. Is it going to be like the super? Yeah, I mean, it's like, what, like, what or, is it really, right? Like, and so I, I don't know, we'll see. And to, together we will react together. I don't know, like, am I, I'm also not sure- I'm expecting the same numbers. Like when we did the NVIDIA, when we did the NVIDIA, um, we did the NVIDIA press briefing together. Like, you know, we had 45, 4,600 people mm -hmm. in there for that press briefing. I'm not sure if we'll see those same numbers in the uh, in the, the the AMD one. I just don't know. Is there, so you got a super chat from Ian Mack. Okay. Is there a AIO CPU, either 240 or 360, you would recommend that works well with an ASUS Aura? Uh, this is 1200 Intel. Thanks, heard Corsair software doesn't like Aura. Uh, Corsair software is specifically made with Aura, like ASUS and Corsair, ASUS and Corsair partnered together to make sure that you could do the Aura sync inside of Corsair IQ. And the stuff that I've used it with has worked really well. Um, so, um, I, I, I'm surprised to hear you say that. Um, I haven't had an issue with that, but, um, interested to see if other people have had issues with Aura and Asus together. Okay. Everything is cable managed to this point, right? Like we have a really nice clean look back here. Um, now we can just basically do our cable extensions and then do our vertical GPU mount is where we're at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the cable extensions. Everything here looks good. It's all wired nicely. Looks clean. There we go. This is kind of not a whole lot I can do about that, but it'll get hidden anyway. Put that down like that. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna go grab our cable extensions because I forgot them. Ugh. Keep reading. Keep reading questions. What's it? Uh, I, I got. I got a dad joke after this when I get back. I think we want the black uh, mix, which are down here at the bottom. Uh, the black mix. Oopsie. Oopsie. Jeez. What was that? That was me tripping on stuff. What fell? Those are white. Welcome to Tritech. I have taken over now. 
I'm just kidding. I'm out of here. Something fell, guys. I don't know what fell. <sighs> no, it's not meant to play. I know. Right. Here I am trying to be sneaky. Take over. Oh. I just make I'm a loud clatter. Right. I have so many freaking Asia horse cables now that... Do you need help? These are... These are white as well. I had everything organized. What happened? I was just wondering if you needed help. Well, I can't find the... I'm trying to find... These oh, are all more. freaking white. Uh, what color do you want? Black and black. The black ones. These are all... Like, all of these ones that they sent are all white. So, I don't know why Asia Horse sent me 300 million white cables. But there are some in here that are not white. What is this one? That's white. That is... White. That is... White. Like, it's like, it's just like, why did you, like, I, <clears throat> sorry, and you guys are just hearing a little bit about, these are first world problems, like, Asia Horse, like, yeah, we'd love to sponsor, we'd love to have you guys, like, we'd love to have you use our cables all the time, and then they sent me literally a million white cables, and it's like, well, I need more than just white cables, so. This is what you wanted, right? What is that one? I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, you, those, if it's covered, it's not, it's white. There's ice blue. I think I found at least the ones that are ice blue. I know I have some that are, those are white. White. White, right. Must be these two right here, maybe. I literally may just be using white. Cause I can find non-white. White, white. Okay, white it is, we're using white. <laughs> I can't find, I thought I had more than white, but all I have is white. You I had did. a ton. I don't know where they're at though. I don't know where the I black had, one is. Oh, I, I promised I separated them by color. Oh, you did? I thought I did. Oh, but okay. It, well, you also didn't have that much. Yeah, there might've been some gone. I know we have more in there. What fell? Uh, the, that. Oh. the shroud. Okay, okay. We're using white guys because I can't find black. So we're using white, and they sent me like nine million white. I hope these aren't. These might be like brand. New. These might be brand new white. Can you go get me a non-brand new white one? Oh man. Whew. Um, okay. So we are going to add our cable extensions, and then we're going to do our um, vertical GPU mount for our 3080. So that should be fun, and it should look good. Um, the white will be fine. It's like it just means in terms of. It'll still look good, so I'm not worried about it. I just was trying to use, I think black would have looked better, but we're good for there. <sighs> it's a storm, yeah, it's a stormtrooper-ish build, I guess. You, you uh, checked all four stacks? I did, but I, I don't know, man. We, we'll, have to, we'll have to look at it next week. Okay, here we go. White. Lots of white cables. We got a lot of white cables. Like, a lot. So, don't have to worry about white cables. Um, okay. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna throw our cable combs on here real quick. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Where's your dad joke? Oh, dad joke. Oh, dude, I put the, oh, here. Oh, I have a Discord open right here. Let's get it up on this. Discord, okay, this one's from Eternal Rage because she's definitely done the most. She's done crazy amounts of dad jokes. So we're gonna get our dad joke question in here. Next one on the thing. Um, I, Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. Okay, here's here's a here's a here's a here's a PC one. I started a band called 999 megabytes. I still haven't gotten a gig. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, that's a good, good. There's a go. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna throw our cable combs on real quick. I told my son the broken dad. Oh yeah. Oh, I told my son. The broken mirror dad joke. It cracked up. He cracked. He cracked up. That's funny. That's another good one. Yeah, guys, go to uh, go to our um, go to our Discord. You guys should join our Discord anyway. There's over five thousand like-minded uh, like-minded tech folks in there, and uh, join uh, in there. You can submit dad jokes, um, and then I will always give credit to the people who have good ones. Um, Eternals put like nine million in there, so if you you know she needs a little competition, she's been 
rocking the dad jokes. But if you want to go in there and drop one in, that would be amazing. And uh, we'll read we'll read them on the we'll read them on the channel as part of a hashtag Tech Dad. You know what I mean? Because de- Tech Dad has to have good Tech Dad jokes. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, that is like tight. Okay, there's that one. So I got to write. <clears throat> there we go. I can't wait when, to inform my first. Do you build? I do build custom loops. Uh, you can check some of those. We actually gave one away just last month, the Intel Gamer Days, which is a full custom loop build. Um, we are going to be doing a full liquid custom loop build here in the future, probably closer to end of November, when I can really do like a. It'll it'll that'll be like a couple eight hour streams. Um, so those will be longer, longer streams. A couple of eight hour streams. Yeah, because it's like they those builds usually take anywhere between. 10 and 14 hours, especially if I'm in a bend tubes. So that'll also be when we're in the new studio because we need a lot of space for that. Yeah. Um, let's see, what time is it? It's 7.58. We started at 6.10. So we gotta, so guys, we'll be, get, we gotta be getting pretty close to the, we're not there yet, but we gotta be getting pretty close to the second, um, the second uh, hype, hype train. Um, what's chat's favorite ice cream? Ooh, what's, Ooh, chat's favorite ice cream. Ooh, what is your favorite ice cream, guys? Um, I have not announced the 3080 winner. We are going to announce the 3080 winner at the end. So right, it'll be right near the end of the show. Okay. So yeah. And chocolate chip, I could get down with that. I like, so how many people like, my favorite is pralines and cream. I, I love pralines and is. cream. Who is anybody else a pralines and cream fan? Cookies and cream, that's a good one too. I'm hungry, dang it. Ooh, okay, me too. Cookies and cream. What is Trey Leche? Ooh, I've never had that before. Cherry Garcia, that's my wife's favorite. Cherry Garcia, lots of people. I, I like that. The What's a praline? The... Pistachio? I like pistachio too. Pistachio is not bad. Pistachio is good. Cherry Garcia is good. If it only I only like that one from Ben and Jerry. What? Cherry Garcia. Oh yeah, Ben and well, I don't think they make it. I don't think anybody well, else makes cherry. Fred Meyer kind of makes one. Oh really? It's like a it's a cherry Garcia knockoff. Yeah, it's uh, why would you do that? Try to not? cash on, cash in on that. Okay, there we go. Cookie dough. I liked that one when I was younger. I don't like that one so much now. Okay, pull this through. Oopsie. Free mm. ice cream is the best. Tillamook, they make good ice cream. Yeah, Tillamook does make good ice cream. Who, uh, who is in? So we have here. We have dryers, right? Is it dryers or briars? We have both. We have dryers and briars, and then there's Edie's, which is on the East Coast. Edie's is the same brand. So we if you're on the Tol- East Coast... I mean, we also have Tillamook here. Yeah, but Edie's. Like, who has Edie's? Because Edie's over here is dryers. But oh. in the East Coast, it's called Edie's. Maple walnut. Okay. Is Jack Daniels a fire or fireball a flavor? Yeah, fireball. <laughs> they have briars. Okay, they have briars. Does anybody here have Edie's or know what I'm talking about? I have Edie's and briars. Oh, yeah. Some people have both. It's a rare. Those people are rare. Is that like... Is that in the, the Midwest or? Uh, it's, yeah, I, I just know because I used to go to school in Vermont, right? That's where I went to school and I was like, what is this? And they're like, that's, I was like, this looks like bri- dryers. And they're like, or briars or whatever it was. And they're like, yeah. So uh, that is not the, I was like, why is this not I working? Mean, depending because... on like where you shop over here, you'll get tons of different ice cream brands. Like Walmart has Blue Bunny or. Blue Bunny. Blue Bun- Bunny? Yeah. It, that one's a pretty good bread, actually. I actually haven't had them. We have like we have some like famous, like we have some famous uh, like uh, Seattle brands. Like uh, I don't know what they're called though. I've eaten at a couple of their places. Like uh, like uh, I don't remember the name of them. Maybe somebody else does. Bluebell, yeah, Bluebell's one. But I don't think I'm trying to think of the famous Blue Seattle. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Bluebell and not Blue Bunny. No, there is a something bunny. Yeah, there's a bunny. There's a famous. Yeah, there's a funny. There's a funny. Uh, sorry, a famous Seattle brand uh, that's up in. Uh, yeah, Blue Bunny. I was right. So, but yeah, I don't remember what. I don't remember if it was good or not. I mean, if it was what the name of it was. So I don't. I mean, I like ice cream. My wife likes it more than I do. Um, I don't eat it as much as she does. But, um, I like ice cream. Molly Moons. Molly Moons. That's what is it that was. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's the one I was thinking of. Sweet Alchemy Ice Creamery. Is that a is that an ice creamery here in Seattle? Uh, yeah. Never heard of them. Neither have I. Who likes who's who's who likes Cold Stone? 
I like Baskin and Robbins. Like they're I haven't one. been there in so long. I like Baskin and Robbins. I need a light up. It's been a long time since I've been to the old Baskin and Robbins. Yeah, like because like now DoorDash, you can actually order Baskin and Robbins, so I'll like, get like pralines and cream because that's like my favorite one. Why is, is pralines and cream? You don't like pralines? And cream? I, I don't even know what it is. It's good. It's like caramel and like candy praline. I don't. And what like, is a praline? It's a it's a nut. Oh, okay. No, oh, gosh darn it! I had it and then it fell out. I think my favorite favorite vanilla ice cream is Dairy Queen's though. My favorite vanilla ice cream is the soft serve at next to the Incredicoaster in downtown in uh, in uh, in uh, California Adventure. Huh. Like their soft serve is like the best, in my opinion. Anyway. Better than Dairy Queen? Yeah. So I think they have like some of the best. And then again, jeez, <sighs> I'm cross. Is it in or is it not in? Like, this one cable is being like a giant pain in the butt. Okay, I think it's, I think it's actually in. I think it's. Yeah, okay, it's in. Okay, cool. Woo. Okay, we got our <coughs> cable extensions in. Now we just gotta put on our. So we're going to Cold Stone. What are you getting at Cold Stone? So like, it's funny. Like, I haven't had Cold Stone in a long time. I just was like, I always, you know, what I used to eat there was the chocolate covered crickets. Because you could buy chocolate covered crickets there. And really? Because people like just thought that was funny, so I'd buy chocolate covered crickets. Um, I don't know what's. Uh, I don't. I don't have a favorite at Cold Stone. I don't think if I know. I'm getting well. a shake. I'm doing sweet cream and brownie, or sweet cream and Oreo. Linder. Yes, I know what Linder is. They're the truffles, man. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have everything ready. Like it's basically the PC is ready. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our vertical GPU mount and go from there. So this is new. This is, a, this is gonna be an adventure. So here we go, we open it up. Here is our adventure, our vertical GPU mount. It should, it has the mounts for it, the, the screws for it. So there is where we are. This one we have to replace. So you end up replacing like this whole section right here to put in the vertical GPU mount. So, and this, this, this case does work with it. So here we go, this is, this is what we're doing, guys. Vertical GPU mount, here it goes. So first thing we're gonna unscrew is this on the side here. And hook that up, okay. And I'm assuming this has, yes it does, okay, it does have Different both. dots are expensive now. And then what you have to do is you have to remove all of these. You have to remove every single dipping dots. I don't, I don't, I was never, I like the cookies and cream dipping dots. Do you mm -hmm. remember those? Like those yep. were like the only ones that I was like, they, yeah, legit. They I'm okay. sell them at Safeway. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah. How do they keep them so frozen? Don't they have, they to, have like... a freezer uh... like right there? It's like in front of the checkout on, on some Safeways. It's in front of the checkout. So you grab it. Okay. This does, <clears throat> how is this going to work with the vertical GPU mount? Like this says that it works with this vertical GPU mount, but does it? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, cool, no, it still works, okay, cool. It does have the mount for it, so here we go. I'm just, I'm going with, I'm going with what they said. They said this will work with the vertical GPU, so we're gonna put in the vertical GPU mount. Because I think this will be a good card to vertically GPU, oh, crud. I just realized. We have to use that funky, uh, we have to use that funky um, adapter. I should have used the EVGA um, power supply for this because we have to use that funky adapter for, oh, um, because it's the Founders Edition. Okay, so this goes like this now. I need to take one more out. There we go. What's yeah. your favorite sandwich? Ooh, favorite sandwich. That's a hard one. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me get these out first, and then we'll think about favorite sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it all depends. If we're going to Jersey Mike's. Yeah, I think for I'm me, it's like, my... it's, it's all dependent. Okay, guys, here we go. Vertical mount goes. I wonder if I should push this all the way down to the bottom. Like, number oh, eight. wait, I guess I guess it, I guess I don't have to, because it's like you want to vertically mount this. So I guess you want it right here. The ham, pepperoni, capicola. These are all words that mean real things. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Vertical GPU mount is in. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> so 
Sloppy Joe. Oh, I like Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes are good. My favorite food is enchiladas. I love cheese enchiladas. Enchiladas. Yeah, enchiladas. A dad makes pretty good enchiladas. Okay, now we're gonna screw this in so it's ready. I mean, we, oh, we, it lined up the way it's supposed to. That's awesome. Okay, we got that in now. We're vertically mounting our GPU. We use the vertically mounted GPU bracket. Shows. That sounds pretty good, Cole Martin. Okay, so we got that all in now. Denny's super bird with turkey bacon, heavy onions. Okay, that is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our, where is our bin of screws that they, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the. I've had quiche before. What do I do with it? Is it in here? That's weird. Okay. I don't know what I did with that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to push all this stuff to the side and we're going to figure out, so here is our, this right here is our uh, PC riser cable. This is what we're, is gonna allow us to vertically mount the GPU um, using the riser stuff, the riser cable to move the, move the data from one to the other. So we're just opening this up real quick. Now, this goes like that, and then this should go down and mount onto this, like this. This is gonna go right here, like so. Whoops, we gotta take that off. And this goes right here. There we go, and then this goes like this, so we can mount it onto here. It screws down onto that. Like that. So we're gonna grab our screws, which are in here. Oopsie. At least it wasn't the knife. Yeah, at least yeah. We're gonna grab this like this, and then these are to screw down our screw down our screw holes. So we're gonna go to side camera real quick. Side camera. Side camera. You're the one. You make vertical mounting GPUs so much fun. Side camera. Now, this is gonna be super close, how close this GPU mount is. But this is the tool it told me to use, so. I wonder if they wanted me to mount this before I put this in here. I think they did. Of course they did. Okay, so now we're gonna undo this and mount it on there first. So, word to the wise, guys, before you put in your, before you put in your riser, oh yeah, it's telling me to do that before, okay. Steven says to do it before you. Follow the instructions. Don't do what I did. Read the instructions and do the right thing first. We're gonna take this out real quick. And instructions. we have Instructions. Instructions. What are they good for? Doing it right the first time. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, there's the instructions right there. That said, hey, you should mount your riser cable to your, this first so that's what I didn't do luckily pretty easy to unscrew this and get it back on yes AMD is uh, they're well not releasing I guess they're revealing Zen 3 yeah we will I don't know we we will find out tomorrow price and release date so and then the other thing too is like I said same as what we we always say with anyone is like whatever we see tomorrow wait and take with a grain of salt until we can so us independent reviewers can actually um, review and tell you how they actually perform. And we will do some of that. I think unlike what it took us a while to get a hold of, okay, so here we go. We're gonna mount this on how here. How crazy would it be if they're like, and they're available right now. People have done stuff like that. I don't think that's what's gonna happen though. Oh, Microsoft has done that. Yeah, as has Apple. Or they, they've said like it's pre-orderable. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna mount this on right now. Um, we'll, we'll find out, I have a feeling uh, I'm, actually in much better shape with um, AMD than I was. NVIDIA is like a hard nut to crack um, as a tech tuber, right? Because you need to be a certain size. I mean, I know we're still pretty big, but not as big as some of the guys. Like, you know, like N Gamers Nexus has been doing this for a decade and we just finished our one year anniversary. So we got to put in, we got to take our lumps, obviously, um, and continue to just kind of prove we're in it for the long haul. So 
there's just some time that it takes for that stuff to happen. And don't worry, we are. You're not, uh, you do not, you're not wasting your time being here in, in RobyTech. We're, we're here oh. for a while. And we're here for the long haul. Okay, GPU, vertical GPU mount is in now for real. Now we're gonna, for realsies. Bring that in. Okay. And then now let's get our, put our cable in. Two, it says it's one, two, I'm trying to think two, but there's something underneath. Like, am I supposed to, like, did they want me to stick stuff underneath that or what? We'll look at that. They come with like spacers. For the... Yeah, but I don't know. I gotta read like why why you'd want to put spacers in there. I don't think I want to support it. I don't think that uh, feels like it's okay. One, two. Place the rubber pans underneath the bracket. Connect the riser cable to the motherboard. Mount the GPU bracket to the chassis and secure the captive thumb screws. So like, do you want me to stick? All, like, there's not like that's not enough. Okay. Extra show like four, so they didn't give you. They only gave me three. So like, it's like, oh, okay. Can you not? Maybe it's just you want, it's like once one, right? Like you're like, oh, put at least one on there, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, put this in here now. Instructions be darned. I the music stopped. Okay, and we're ready for our vertical GPU mount now. We're gonna start our music here. GPU music. Okay, <clears throat> so we're good there. Now we can do, man, this thing is like super close. I mean, like you're gonna get lots of airflow, but here we go. Let's grab our, okay, everything here is good. I'm gonna grab our extra stuff. Put this in here and put this back in here. This goes in here. <laughs> uh, some people are asking, so it's not supposed to go all the way to the bottom. No, there's most of these, like sometimes they have ones that do go to the bottom. Like there's like on the Fantex, like it'll be my, but some of them, like they have them up. So uh, they're, they're off of the floor. So it just depends. It depends on the vertical GPM out. Um, let's put that in there. This goes back on. Halo 3, the Halo 3 theme song would be perfect 3080 GPU song. Unfortunately, the problem LMA. is, is that it's still, we still have to worry about copywriting guys. I think it's still a copyrighted Microsoft Copyrights. song. Copyrights. I wonder if they, can that go like, I feel like this is supposed to go underneath like this. Uh, no way. It's, it's supposed to go like, yeah. Hmm. Turn the bracket back on. And we're good there. 2,000 concurrent. Awesome, thanks guys. Okay, next up, vertically mounting, GPU. We have our, oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. Like how am I supposed to seal those down? That's, we that's weird. I wonder if they want me to, do I put it, in, no, I can't do that. Like the, the key, like the, like it feels like this should go further out, but it doesn't. So I, I don't know how I'm gonna secure the GPU into the slot here. Hmm. So what I'm looking at guys, unless, oh, unless I push it further. Oh, maybe that's, oh, I see what you're saying. Maybe that's what you're saying. Okay. Try it. In other words, make it go all the way to the bottom and do it on the bottom slot. And then I'll have room to do that. Aha, I, I get what you're asking now. You, you are probably right. So we're gonna take this out. You have to remove all of these. And that's why you have the rubber grommet. I get what you're asking now. Sorry, guys. So now we move this down to here like that is what you're saying. And then now if you stuck the rubber pad on the bottom you would like now, it would not shake or anything like that, like no movement. But given I'm not, this is not a permanent, permanent installation, not gonna do that for now. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have it in the right way. Now the question I have is, is like this, how is this supposed to go on here? 
feel like it goes in the back, but. And these are in here. These were, oh, they, these are further out. So I think that's not gonna go in. Okay. You can fill the top one at least. I guess you can't fill the top one. Okay. Now we can vertically mount the GPU. GPU time. GPU time. GPU um, time. One of the things I am looking for though that I'm not finding is my giant. That's not it. Do you see the bag of all the little, this is all, that's, that's for. Chat this. tells me not to help you look for anything because it's funnier that way. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Uh, I'm missing a bag of screws, and that bag of screws is so I don't lose parts, and I thought I put it in here, but I do not see it in here, and I wanna not lose the stuff. So, I don't see the bag of screws. Is that underneath the case? I don't think so. No. Nope. Oh, I don't see a, it's like a long bag of screws. I don't know what I did with it. It's the one that I has all the case screws in it. And I usually stick all that stuff in here, but I don't see it. Are they with your rubber pads? No, I put those in the, I put that in this one. And they're separate on purpose. Cause I need to, oh, it's in here. I found it. Yeah. I just don't want to lose all the parts. Okay. What time is it? Nah, 8. 8.19, okay, so we are now, have we seen the blue, have we seen the blue, have we seen the blue, it should, I mean, it basically the second hype train should be like any minute, essentially. Too bad it doesn't like, uh, show up there, but like, hey, it's ready. It does, it, yeah, it doesn't, like, it only does it like temporarily, okay. So we're good there. All that stuff is in there. Um, now let's grab our GPU. <clears throat> it's GPU time. This is the first time we've got to use the 3080. So our 3080, sorry, our 3080 Founders Edition. This is the first time we've got to use F our 3080 Founders Edition. So this is, a, this is our top down 3080. That's the one that your bot got, right? Yeah, shut up. I did not bought any of my 3080s. Okay, here we go. Opening it up, because I know people are excited about this one. There it is. Oh, that's so pretty. Whew, such a beautiful card. I haven't seen a Founders Edition in person. Tell now you have. Um, now we need our little funky cable, which I just realized. It's in here, right? There it is. So we have to figure out how to vertically mount so our, our funky cable is in a, a good spot. Oh, that smells... Oh, really good. Does it? Yeah, it really does. I want that. I want that aroma. The what? NVIDIA no. 3080, the NVIDIA 3080 uh, Founders Edition aroma by Christian Dior. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Bleh. Uh, okay. So now, yeah, that smells really good. Um, okay, what am I looking for? This. Okay, so it's vertically mounted. So it's going to go like this. We have this super funky looking cable here. What I can do is I might just actually just drive this like this. I think that might be the best thing is just have it like that. Because I don't know another way. I think if doing that and then we can just have the white cables, I mean the cables come through the back might be the best solution. So I'm going to grab my PSU cable real quick. Put this away. Okay, so we're grabbing our PSU real quick. And with the PSU, we're gonna grab one cable out of here. Ooh, look at that, it's so pretty. That new, oh, that doesn't smell good. <clears throat> that smells like chemicals. <sighs> we're gonna grab our PCIe cable. There we go, that one. Thank you for the bless yous. Okay. And? What we're going to do is we're going to run that one cable, this one cable, and go ahead and run this one. So this is going to plug into here. These are both going to go, I'm going to go ahead and grab and plug these in and then zip tie them. So it really, the cable's just hidden. So the case, the... There we 
There we go. There we go. And then we're gonna take this one. There we go. Okay, and then like I said, what I wanna do is, I basically want this to just be like that. So we'll run that down there, pull this through. This is gonna go the other way. Oh, no, that's the right way. No, I'm gonna go the other way. Oh yeah, you're right, it is gonna go. There. It's gonna go this way, yeah, I'm like freaking blind. Okay, we're gonna run that like that. And then, side camera. Side camera. Side camera. We'll run this and get that in the right place. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now that's all nice and hidden. You can only see that one cable. Zip tie these together so they're hidden. Okay. Let's go ahead and zip. Let's go ahead and screw this in. It doesn't move, and then we can worry about. That sag. Yeah, that sag is there because we haven't screwed it in. There we go. And we and we actually can. I can actually grab one of those rubber, those rubber. Uh, um, Things and put it underneath to keep the sag from happening too. There we go. If we wanted to. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. It's hard to do that. Ugh. The only cable I want is this one, but I wanna. Grab our one. Zip tie here. Zip tie this together. One cable. There we go. Okay. Just that one. And then we want this up. Fortunate. That is. Okay, we can't really. There we go. Now it's just straight, which is what I wanted. What I'm doing right now is just making sure that the cable looks clean. Cool, awesome. That worked better than I thought. <clears throat> and I'll show this off to you guys. And now all of our cables, this is what the front of our PC essentially looks like. Actually, I think it actually looks pretty good. Got a single straight cable. And there we go. Okay, here we go. You guys ready for the big reveal? Cam link. That's what our case looks like. So I think that looks really good. Actually, it looks really good, actually. So there you go. That looks nice right. and clean. And I think that put looks- put the light on it or yeah. tilt it? I'll tilt, I'll tilt it so you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. So that's, that's a lot better. That looks, yeah, there you go. So yeah, you got a nice clean look there. I think that, yeah, it looks really pretty. Um, um, and then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, all we got left is we're just gonna put together our, P, we're gonna put the PSU in and uh, go from there. I'm gonna, I think that would help too, is like just getting a little bit more down light. Oh, I think this is, like we have like these lights are kind of in bad spots. Not pointing at the, the build really. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Now let's get our let's get our PSU in. It's the only thing we have left. And then fire it up. Fire it up. Okay, so there's our GPUs already ready. Grab our this is our new, we don't need any of this, so this can go get put away. <gasps> Come on. Okay. 
there. This can go in here for now. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the rest of our PSU stuff. This is a, ow. Demanded blood and it took it again. Blood, 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 blood. blood, blood. blood okay, blood, so what we're doing is we're grabbing blood. our brand. Again, this is a brand new, this is the Color Master, their V2. Um, this is uh, 80 plus gold. Um, it, it has new, thicker, uh, new, thicker, um, more uh, capacitive cables, all Japanese, uh, all Japanese capacitors. It's got a 135 millimeter fan versus 120. Um, it also has a uh, um, uh, 10 year warranty on it, which is pretty rad. Um, and then, like I said, those, it, and it comes in both white and black. And so um, pretty, pretty awesome new power supply. Don't need this. So I'm just taking out the stuff I do need, which I need a single SATA. There's our VGA. Uh, we don't need any of that. Oh, look, look at all that. They gave me a bunch of them too. That's very kind of them. Very so many, kind. so thank you very much for the, uh, the, the uh, I always like it when people give me, um, when people give me uh, zip ties. And there's our CPU. There's a CPU power is already there. We don't need any more of these SATA. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's- What's the matter with you? What's- I always try to think of like a joke every time you say SATA. But, no, uh, that nobody's SATA about you not coming up with a good joke? I'm gone. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I can never have too many. Did it, oh, it did give me, I was like, where's my PSU? But there are my PS, my, I was like, where's my PSU? Um, there's my PSU uh, cables. Okay, so we got those. We're gonna keep. We're gonna actually put this back in here because I don't. I'm, I don't need these for this build. Put those back in there. Close that. I like nice little case. This like this bag. That's like a legit nice bag. Look at that. Smells like chemicals. <laughs> you just doesn't, love sniffing. Doesn't, I do like sniffing stuff. It's you need a sniffing montage. Roby sniffing. Roby sniffing different electrical. Sniff. Electric Roby components. Montage. Montage. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so for our PSU, the only one we, we got to grab, this is our, we're going to put this in right, oh, I forgot, this is going to go from the top, so we'll hook that in afterwards. This right here is our power supply. This is our EATX CPU power. So that just goes like this, the way you know it. Look at these, the, the, the connectors for this are interesting. Um, they don't use standard connectors, so it's a lot easier to know what goes into the what, what goes yeah. into the into the motherboard and what goes That's into the PSU. Very kind of them. So this is the motherboard Board. EATX stuff, and then like I said, for their so it's proprietary. So here is, for instance, their SATA cable, and you can see that the this is the motherboard connection is now a five pin for SATA and hard drive. So that just goes right there. Interesting. And then here we have our CPU and our eight pin PCIe CPU and VGA. That's it. And uh, like I said, this comes in 850, 600, 850, 750, 650, and 550 are the different versions this comes with. So, okay, so we're just gonna plot that in like so. And then now, we take this along with this, which got to go right here. Oops, you guys can't really see. We're gonna plug that in right there. And then we're gonna, my zoom. Man, I am, oh, there it is. Zoom out. See a little bit better. Oh, it's already zoomed out. Okay, move this back in the middle. And now, zoom out. we're gonna push this in. This up. Ooh, I have to say, one of the things I am noticing about this is that the case actually has a lot of room to get the PSU in, which is nice. Okay, PSU is in. Now what we're gonna do is flip this up, side camera. Side camera. Side camera. Side cam. Side cam. Here side we're going cam side action. cam, thank you very much for that. Subscription. Okay, here we go. Next up, we're going to get this in. Oh, it's like is it stuck on something? Okay, there we go. I like it. I like it. Nice installation. Oop. Pretty relatively simple. Easy screw in screws. The screws are actually a little bit different too. Um, they're not as 
Just like that. Here. Is that a reset button? No, it's a high, uh, low, low, low noise. Like, turn off the fan. Oh, here we go. And here we go. And one more. Okay. Guys, we are super close. Is there, like, it's okay to go, like, clockwise when you're screwing in. You don't need oh, yeah. to do some to worry special about that for, star yeah, pattern or... Not for this one. Okay, we are good there. I guess I'm curious. I want to check something real quick. I want to see if we can... I don't... I don't... I'm... I'm this is just for a learning experience, guys. But should, can we cover that top dust... Because again, if you can, you don't want you to try not to get dust, but I'm trying to see if it's, yep, you can. Yeah, you can cover that top. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that top dust. So just to give it, not keep it, you, I know you're not gonna keep all the dust out of there, but if we can keep some Minimize. out just by having a little bit. Get that in, and there you go. Now I've got that top slot filled. Cool. Okay, cool. Now we got that done. Let's hook up the last of our cables and we've got a build ready. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down. Ugh. Top down, top down, top, top down. down, top down, top down time. Top gun? Top, no, no, top down, oh. top down. Okay, here's our first cable. I'm a little sad about top gun. Yeah, me too. It needs, a, it needs to get here quick. It's supposed to come out in July. <laughs> I know. Now it's like, now it's like what? It's been done for a year. So now it's like what? June of next year, I think Something is what it is. Something like that. Like they delayed it for a whole year. Okay. There's that one. Not a lot of cables for this, actually. I'm actually pretty impressed. So what we're going to do, and then this last one, just because this goes like this and right into this bad boy. And there we go. Would have... Would having a 720 TV bottleneck anything on a PC? Would what? Having a 27 TV, would it bottleneck anything on a PC? 27 inch television? 27P TV. Seven, uh, tw Trevor, that sucks. 720P. TV, TV. would it bottleneck? Not necessarily. I mean, 720P, you're not, you're not, I mean, there's just like, that's a really low resolution. You are bottlenecking, your CPU would be bottlenecked because your GPU could essentially pass instructions for 1080p at like a ridiculous speed. Um, but yeah, it's just like you're basically just bottlenecking your whole system because you're not even using it near the potential. Um, 720p is just a pretty low, low end TV at this point now. Um, but I mean, like it's not, I mean, if that's what you can get, that's what you can get, it's better than nothing. Okay, there we go, guys. PC's ready. You guys ready? Do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Okay, let's do put the. It. We're gonna do the. Put the back panel on because I always tempt fate. Tempt. Tempting fate. The temptest. Tempting fate. Okay. Now, oh, going to cam link. Cam link. Cam link. Cam link. Cam link. Cam link. That's front cam. Front cam. I know. I was just front cam. Uh, and there we go. I don't touch this one. No. I don't. Brian, do Brian will attack you. He probably attack me for touching the side cam. No, no, he knows that that's the that's the that's the cinematic camera angle. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and bring this up so you guys can see it all the way. It looks, it, dude, it does look really good. I just need to. Okay. Just turn here we go. Lights off before you turn it off. No, really. You think so? Like so have the just, lights, you guys, uh, I can turn the lights down, then it, but you won't be able to see like the 3080 doesn't light up. Okay. So it's like, it's the only fine, thing, it's, fine, it's, fine. it's subtle RGB in this case. Okay, here we go, guys. Where's the hype in the chat? Hype guys. Well, they, I think they, they all know that it's, it's, here we go, let's get the hype up. 3080 vertically mounted in a brand new case that just came out today. Could this be the first, could this be the first P360A 
vertically mounted build uh, on screen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't have know. the answer. Don't know. Don't someone know. Don't to, have the answer. Someone needs to check that out. Justin was fan text was here. He would let us know. Okay, here we go. Turn it on. We see lights. Ooh, I see not lights, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, I was oh. like, uh, I don't see fan spinning though. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I tried. What are they doing? Oh, there they go. Oh, that was weird. There it is. Well, that's very RGB-ish. It just takes a while for the spin. Yeah, they're all spinning now. Oh, okay. We can grab our... That was weird. That was genuinely odd. I was yeah. like, a little, I was like, what? How could that not spin? Um, where is my... What did I do with the... Jeez, Roby. Where's the mesh for the top? Where to go, Roby? Oh, man. I love the color of those fans, though. I like how bright they are. They're very, they're very bright. So there you go. Like that here, you guys can get a good side view. That's this is a very like I'm impressed with this case. Um, uh, a lot of air. I love. I, this is one thing that they've been adding on every one of them is these RGB strips along the bottom. Uh, the fan, the the color of the uh, the color of the fans is actually legit. I just wish I could find the stupid thing that. Oh, there it is. I found it. It's just too far back. There we go. That looks really good. Gear seekers to divert. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure if we start, if we want to get that second, if we want to get that second hype train going, doesn't we, it usually show up around nine o'clock though? No, but we started, we start at six, so it's only two hours, so it should be done oh. by like eight ten. So let's do lights off. We'll check it. Oh, I don't see a post yet. That's something I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing it post yet. Is that is spinning? So everything's. Did you use the wrong HDMI? No, this is plugged into the. That one is just it should show, so it's not posted. Not it has, it's not this one on the ground. No, that one does for this. That one will show up on the screen. So we have not we have not seen a post yet, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, but let us grab, let us grab, I'm gonna do this. There's only one HDMI port. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm gonna restart it and then let us, I'm gonna shut this down. Did you put an M.2 in it? Yeah, there's an M.2, it wouldn't matter. It should still boot. Oh, am I seeing any lights on the RAM? Yes, there was lights on the RAM. Okay. You see lights on the RAM? Oh yeah, there was. Oh, there it goes, yeah. No, and the G-Force is lit up, so it's definitely getting power. Okay. We're all good there. I wonder if I, um, this got dropped. Oh no. I don't know if there's like, if it could be, we might plug in, we might plug in a, we might plug in a monitor just to make sure. <laughs> okay, because uh, there could be lots of reasons why it's not. It's actually not working. We'll check real quick. Okay, we're gonna grab a monitor real quick, but let's go and start, try and start hooking up that hype, that hype train. The way that works is be, uh, uh, we wanna do uh, subs. Can you hand me the, you, can you hand me the HDMI cable that fell down? The HDMI cable that's down there. Yeah. I thought this is the one that you wanted to. There you go. And then that goes. This goes right here. There we go. Okay. So what we are not seeing. Okay, so that's all plugged in. And no signal. So we don't know. I don't know if why we're not. It's not. No, why we're not. Everything else is on. So we are not getting a. We are not getting a signal right now. Uh, it could be like, did I, maybe I unplug something on the GPU. The GPU is getting power, um, but it could be a GPU power thing. Oh, hey, there it goes. There it is. The hype train is going. Yeah, I'm going to check the, I'm going to check that the power cables plugged in. That's the, there could be some, some, so I'm going to check the power cables and make sure that those are all plugged in because it's, uh, it's like everything else is on it. It's probably a GPU problem. So I'm going to do that real quick. Make sure that our GPU cable is plugged in correctly those could have not been plugged in right i did plug this in oh it could be oh, you know what else it could be it could be lots of things i don't know if these is i'm gonna check these real quick that is in and that is okay sure these are all plugged in all the way that is all good in okay that's in We 
go. That's all in. That looks good. And we're going to check our back cables. Because I was seeing power on everything. I just mm -hmm. don't know if like, if the, the it could be this cable. Um, there was a, it wasn't all the way clinched together. Could be, this could not, there could be, it could be this not plugged in all the way. There's lots of little cables that are here that could be the problem. Yep, that doesn't look like it's all the way in. I like it's clicking. Check my phone. We are hype. Come on, guys. Level five. Wow, that was fast. Oh, we're almost to the $100 new egg gift card. Um, this is going. I'm curious if one of the thing is, is like it, it, Asia Horse sent all these cables, and like I'm wondering if one of them is bad or you know what I mean? So it could right, be. Right, right. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna check the cables are plugged in. Welcome to Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting Troubleshooting 101. 101. With Ruby Tech. Make sure our cables are all, because it's like it should have, I mean, the, the weird thing is I'm not, I can plug in a PC speaker and we can hear there too, but. You know how to diagnose the beeps? Yeah, you just look them up. Oh. Could be this. But it wouldn't even turn on usually if that was this, but it's like, I don't, cable isn't going all the way in. So it could be, it's not clicked all the way in. Is that clipped all the way in? There we go. Okay, that's clipped in. Pick that one. Make sure this is in. And I just want to make sure these are plugged in all the way on the... Because it's usually when you have this problem, it's because uh, CPU, like there's usually that's the one that's always the issue. So make sure everything's plugged in here. Just gonna check our power first. 3080 is broke. Huh? Thomas said 3080 is broke. It could be it too. Believe it or not. It could be the 3080. That's crossed my mind. That'd be brutal. Mm-hmm. doing our okay there we go plug in and make sure that these are good one more time check the riser card yeah it could be that like that's the other thing i'm just checking all the like it could be the the riser card's not plugged all the way into the vga spot oh. so i'm just making sure that i'm just going through all of my connections just to make mm -hmm. sure that they're good Okay, let's check our riser cable. Could be this too, so I'm gonna disconnect this. Make sure that this is plugged all the way in. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab one of these pads and shove it underneath there. Okay, well, I've checked all the cables, double checked that it's good. Um, now the last thing is like just to, the other option is to, once this is done, if that doesn't work, what I'll do is I will remove the riser cable and plug it into the, um, plug it into the, um, plug it directly into the motherboard just to see if it's like, it's a riser cable problem because it could be a riser cable problem. And then if not, the second option is to then test a second GPU because we need to know that the 3080 works. <clears throat> but I can, I could, the faster thing might be to test the 3080 is just to 
bring out the test bench back here, plug it into 3080 and make sure that that works versus mm -hmm. like testing to see if like it's the riser cable, stuff like that. So we got a couple quick options that we're gonna test. We just, we just got finished doing all that. So let's go and plug this back in. It's weird because it's not doing anything that is... Everything's turning on. Yeah, that's the, that's the odd part. And I'm not getting a screen thing, so... Okay, one more time. How are we doing? What did we get? Oh, 90, we're at 94. So let me put the, let me put the, uh, cause I'm a little, I'm a little worried, honestly, guys, that it's actually the, um, that it's actually the, um, that it's actually the Asia horse cable. So we'll check that here in a second. Um, let's do the next giveaway section. And this is, oh, we've unlocked the, have we've unlocked the hype train. So I'm going to fix the one, the widget real quick and change it for the next one. Could it be the Asia horse cables with the fans just taking so long to... No. Oh, I guess that... No, because those are connected to the motherboard. This is 125. We're at 94. And 20, 20, 20. Our goal. Our goal. Okay, there we go. We're at the next goal now. And I'm still not seeing a post. So one thing we're going to test real quick before we get too far is we're going to remove the 3080. Throw it in the test bench, make sure the 3080 works because it could, and then that'll tell me if it's something with the PC or if it's something with it. Because like the, the 3080 is on. Oh, the 3080 is not on right now. It was on. It, uh, the light is off now. It could be some, oh, there it goes. No, 3080 just came on. I wonder if it's something else. The fan is spinning on the 3080. Yep. For sure. Did the 3080, did we get a dead 3080? Is the question. Still seeing no posts. Two red LEDs now. Where do you, oh, do you see them somewhere? I, I can see what the LED lights are. Oh, there they are up there. Yeah, okay, let me look at what those are. That, that's a good catch. Now we get to look at the, we're gonna look at the indicators and see what this is saying. So there's two. Well, you said you need to reset the goal. I did. It's now set to 94 and 125. What we're checking right now is we're just gonna see what the error codes are because there's error LEDs on this thing and see what they are. Let's see what page it's on. Um, we want above. It's right here. Components. Trying to see where our SysFan, Sys2, USB, TPM. Oh, the TPM is way up there. That's interesting. CMOS BIOS thing. We could clear the CMOS if we wanted to. D. Easy debug. Okay. Indicates GPU. It's like, oh, I can, I got to look and see what they're saying. Oh my gosh, dude. That was like the smallest. It's like so small. It's like it actually, next to it is actually what it is. So we're going to zoom in. So it's saying CPU and VGA are lit, are the ones that are lit right now. <clears throat> so CPU is not detected and VGA indicates GPU M.2 or it could be GPU PCIe M.2 is not detected. So there could be many of those things. It, guys, it very well could be that cable. So I'm going to do one more thing and switch I think it, I think I know what it might be. And I think that's in the, which is why the GPU is on and everything else. It's usually, this is what it is. I think it's this, these Asia horse cable extensions. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to take a new box. No, I'm going to just take this black one right here and plug it directly into the motherboard. Oh, okay. I think it's this. That's an easy thing to test real quick. 
And this is why sometimes like they're like, hey, I have these things that have been returned. And I'm like, oh, I wonder why they got returned. And this may be why. I don't want <laughs> sending garbage. Return them because they didn't work. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks, Asia Horse. This is like this is like the way that this is plugged in. I'm gonna. It's gonna work. It's gonna post. It will post. This will be the first time we've never had one post. Okay. Ugh. And this will be fun to edit. Oh, he'll be fast. He'll just, he'll just not do the part where I figured out what was broken. I mean, when I go home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. Like, I don't like the ones that don't clip together. It makes it a little... Well, I guess I can just do one side and then the next, though. The fact that it's showing CPU is what's making me think that is making me think that the cable's bad. Actually, a cable problem, not a. There we go. There we go. There's that one, and that clicked in nice. There you go. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Let's try this. Maybe not enough blood on the RAM. Yeah, because I remember how many times I've been cut, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do, we're gonna do the, we're, one, regardless, I'm gonna try this last thing, and then if we don't, if it doesn't work, we're going to try the, we're gonna do the hype train giveaway. And then I'm hoping we'll get to the, how many do we need? 90, we're, we're what, 30 away from giving away $150? We've never not done it, but then again, we've always, we've always gotten, we've always had more. Okay, here we go. Come on, get in there. Okay, Let's see if this was it. Part two, part, try number three. Try number three. Try number three. Oh, didn't work. I heard the click. <laughs> there he goes. It's so weird with the fans. It's like the motherboard's getting him. The light on the, the GPU came on way faster. Looking at those light LED indicators. The one on. It could like I, it could be the cable extensions. I don't know. It could be it could be the cable extensions, which again for return. So we can throw. I, the last thing I'm gonna do is try and do the get rid of the other, the other cable extension, which could be a problem. Um, I, I after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let's start the giveaway, and then if this doesn't work, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the GPU out. Throw it on the test bench and verify that the GPU works, because that'll tell me that'll tell me really quick if it's a what where where I should check, which is always a nice thing. I mean, the build looks great, just yeah. doesn't post. So, um, <clears throat> only one light on the error code thing now. Yeah. Um, let me uh, let's do the let's do the giveaway though. Welcome to the first time where we actually get to test something. Okay, so this is for the Western Digital 250 gig. Remember, this time, Twitch subscribers, you get extra entries because this is for Twitch. And you get, if you're a tier one, you get three. If you're tier two, you get four. And if you're tier three, you get five. Okay, starting that giveaway right now. It took a while, but the second light to light. Okay, so the second light did light up. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut this off. Didn't see it. Oh, it did? Did it? Oh. Yeah, right now it's only the CPU. We could, yeah. I wonder if there's a CPU. Oh. It could be the CPU, but the CPU is like making it sound like it's a, I wonder if we literally, we could have gotten a bad CPU, which 
that has happened. Right. Um, and that's an easy thing to fix and test. We have more CPUs. We could throw another CPU in real quick. Um, I don't know if maybe I didn't seat it right or anything like that. So well, let's shut it off. We're getting the CPU error. I'm gonna test the GPU real quick though, because we have everything here to test that. So while that giveaway is happening, get this out of the way. We're just gonna make sure our Jeep are very expensive and very rare. 3080 does work because I just want to know that. And then after right. that, it's like, okay, well, it could be our G it could be our CPU. Okay. This one quick. There you go. Unplug this now. Okay. Thirty eighty is out. Push this off to the side. What we're going to do is grab our. Grab our little adapter, it's fine. And now put this down and grab our test bench. <sighs> Already ready to go. <sighs> there we go, test bench is out. Now we're getting out the real power, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It's getting crazy up in this joint. We're gonna remove our 2060 KO. There we go. Remove our 2060 KO. There we go. Throw in our 3080. There we go. Thirty eighty is in. Okay, thirty eighty is in and clicked. There we go. Thirty eighty is in. Grab our power extension real quick. There we go. And then we got our two power cables right here. Power and power. Okay. And then let's secure this real quick. And now we can plug it all in. Okay. Uh, power on that side is in the back there for you. Would you mind grabbing the power for me? Sure. There you go. If you actually, if you can plug all these back in the back there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna test to see if our 3080 works. Get our ice out of the way. H that goes right there, bottom one. Uh, come on, stupid. And that goes right in the. Okay, and then can you flick the power switch? Yeah, I can. Flick it on. Maybe it was already on. You flick it again. There we go. Okay, power is on. Now we'll see if the 3080 boots. Okay, lights are on. Mm -hmm. Nope, yep. So 3080 works, just so you guys know. There it is right there. So yay, 3080 works. So it's not a broken 3080, that's good to know. So there's our 3080 in, I don't even know, like, so we know, we know, phew. That's actually good to go. So we know the 3080 is in, it works, everything's good there. We know it's not that. Um, second option is we, it could be, it could be we, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna shut this off, put our 2060 back in. Oh, Blondie's saying. Reroll. Reroll, oh, same winner, okay. Oh, Ghost of M won twice, wow, that's crazy. Okay, re, we're gonna pick a new winner. 
Congratulations, Scott M. Congratulations, Scott M. Um, okay, so let us shut this down. We definitely know that was the one that I was worried about. I was like, what? Right. But the 3080 is fine. So we're gonna disconnect this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our other white Asia Horse cable extension, because like I said, I think they're all used. And we're going to- uh, I'm grab an uh, unopened box? No, we'll, uh, we're just gonna put the, the retail one in there and verify okay. it. And just, just bypass those all together. If, they, oh, if that doesn't work, then we're throwing away all those ones they sent us. If it works, okay. Okay, there we go. All the open ones they sent us? Yeah, all the open ones. I, like, we, because they, they sent us a bunch of like, oh, we have we can't see, use these. And I'm like, they're returns. I'm like, you wanna try them? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. But now I'm like, oh, <laughs> don't wanna do that live. Okay, so that's all plugged. Can you unplug the stuff and then put it back underneath for me? I did. Oh, never mind then, thank you. I'm on top of it, boss. Okay, so we now know the 3080 works. That makes me happy. Put that back in. You could try cleaning the CMOS. Yeah, that was the other option. If I try that other cable and that's what not doesn't work, is it could try clearing the CMOS, which is my next thing, because it's a it's a board we've used before. That's the next option. So, welcome. To, I think this is a great episode, right? Because what you guys are seeing is like things that you can do to troubleshoot. What about the riser cable being bad? Uh, that one, that like, that could be another potential option. If we're, first we're gonna remove this and switch to the retail only version of this. You flip the lever? <laughs> it's not on. What do you mean, flip what lever? On the, what, aren't you removing the? I'm removing the cable extension right oh, now. Oh, cable extension. Yeah, that's what I'm My doing. mistake. From this angle, it looks like you're Oh my gosh. Holding the fan. Right now I'm not getting anything. <laughs> Jeez. It's like the world's most oh, secure. Wow. Okay. Let's remove this real quick. Oh, well, let's get off capture. I don't know what it's stuck on now. Cam link. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this. Oh my God, this, this cable, it's like the worst. Okay, now we're gonna pull this up and run this in here. And then we'll try and see if this works. Okay, that is in. The black doesn't look bad. Now, go ahead and for the sake of clarity, just to make sure this looks good still. Okay, so we have one more. Let's see if we can, can we get 125, guys? What are we at, 99? Come on, we can get 25. We can get 25 more. We're still gotta draw our winner for the- uh, 26 more? We can get 26 more. We can get 25 more too. I guess 26 would be better though, because then we actually unlock something. That's a good point. Okay, there we go. That is ready. Let's go ahead and put our 3080 back in. So grab this. Would it wouldn't it would it post without a GPU? It would not, because it's not an APU. And then we'll go after this, we'll we'll actually just to test. I think what I'll do is I can clear clear the CMOS real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the CMOS just because. How do you do that? So the way I'm gonna clear the CMOS is I'm literally just gonna pop the battery out. There's a little battery in here. You just pop out and there we go. The CMOS is cleared now. Let's see. Or you can also do it via jumper if you wanted to. I just like to use the battery. Okay, there we go. Ba CMOS is clear. And now we'll just pop in the GPU. So we've we've cleared the bat, we've cleared the CMOS. And now our 3080 back in. Plug it all back in. And try this one more time. Uh, another reroll? Another reroll? Really? 
She can just maybe. She can do it herself. Oh, no, she closed it. Oh gosh, darn it! Oh, that's why. That's why I actually put this in the right slot. <laughs> yeah, there. Okay. That is in now. Okay, now let's put our do this stuff back in. I'm actually gonna use one of these instead. I think I want you to use these maybe? No. T51, you could ask here, or you could ask a Discord, which would probably be better. That's not the right way to get that in there. Not quite. Okay, there we go, last screw. Let's see if this fixes our problem. This last bit here. There we go. Now it could, it'll be the, okay. We've cleared the CMOS. We've checked, we've removed all of the potential. Like I said, it could be potential. I mean, these could be absolutely fine. We don't know. We're going to run the test again and see what happens. Okay, so we do know that our GPU works. We do not know if our CPU works, but it's brand new in the box. Okay, here we go. And it's take a while to spin. There we go. Maybe. We cleared the CMOS, I forgot, so it's gonna take a little while to spin. There it goes. So the motherboard is definitely getting its stuff. Right. And motherboard is reading stuff. We've cleared CMOS, we've cleared, we've replaced the cables, all that sort of stuff is good. GPU fan is running. The GPU, no. oh, the GPU fan is not running. I wonder if it's stuck, right? Like it's like, it doesn't look like it's, what didn't turn on last? It doesn't look like the GPU is on at all. I'm not getting any part of the GPU right now. I wonder what that is. <sighs> I not plugged something in here. Oh, I wonder if I didn't plug something in back there. We're gonna unplug this. Unplug, turn this off. Go. No, oh, that's not, no. oh yeah, that's why. One of the cables isn't plugged all the way in. Oh, that's good. There we go. Okay, now it's all plugged in. Little things that get in the way of having a fun day. Okay. There we go. Let's turn this one more time. There it goes.
I did plug, I did plug this back in, the PSU back in, right? I don't know if I plugged, I if it's like a broken B. I'm not even getting power in the GPU all of a sudden. This time it's like literally like not powering the GPU. Oh, that's why. Help. GPU is not plugged in. There we go. GPU is not dead. No, the GPU is not dead. We already tried that. We already tested that. Literally just tested the GPU. Right. No, it's like not even powering up at all. I'm getting a VGA light now, so I'm not even getting the CPU light now. I'm getting the VGA light now. Weird. We just tried it. The... Oh, the cheese, I'm crow. Riser come out? Yeah, riser's not on. There we go. Yeah, the riser's not, wasn't on all the way. Yeah, it's not even, like, it's like this isn't plugged in all the way. The the riser's not locked on the cable, on the, on the, on the GPU. It was like loose. That may be the whole problem. It's like the riser isn't connected. And the riser's not locking. Oh no, it locked on the GPU. Okay, now it locked on the GPU now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's see if this makes it. Okay, I'm getting the VGA. I'm getting two LEDs now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take up the next step to this is literally plugging the GPU directly into the motherboard. It's not even getting power, which is the part that's weird. This is, yeah, it's fine, right? Some say, what about flashing the BIOS? Well, I can't even do that. Oh, I mean, I could reflash it. I'm gonna try, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test, I'm gonna take this GPU, vertical GPU mount out and just plug the card directly into the, welcome to, welcome to troubleshooting guys. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. So Roby, on your test bench, you use 2x GPU, GPU power. On the one you're using, you're only using one cable, but bridged. Yeah, you could be right. It could be like literally I have to use two separate. I mean, I could try, I could do that um, and see if that, let's see if that does it too. I haven't had that problem before, even with another 2080, but we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly test putting it directly onto the, onto the MOBO. Cause it's like, I, this, this PCI riser thing is like really loose. Like it's not gripping at all. So I'm a little worried it's that. So this should be an easy way to test that. And it doesn't take long to take this thing out. So. Oh, that's right. I have to take Where you did that Scott Maxfield. What? Take out the battery. Yeah, we already did the CMOS battery.
Well, at least we know it's not the Asia horse cable so far. Come on. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just directly plug this into here. Just for the sake, we're just gonna be fast here. And then we'll try the second thing that somebody talked about, which is like plugging in, plugging in a two individual powers and see if that, but it, it powered with this way. Oh no, the fan's working, the fan's on. The fan is actually- and it did work earlier. The and the light's time. on, the light's on now. Yeah, we're just gonna see. I'm waiting to see if it posts, but the light is on and the fan is on. Oh, I should probably plug the freaking HDMI in. Oh. Yeah. Because I think it posted. It's going through the CPU check. I'm gonna I'm gonna test the next thing is like if it doesn't post on this one. I did use two individual. I'm gonna try giving it a second VGA cable. So it's past the GPU. Oh, it's posted. Okay. Well, that's what it was. It was the riser cable, guys. There's the key, there's the capture right there. So it was a it was a basically a riser problem. So but there you go. But yeah, it was basically just a riser problem, which is unfortunate, right? Because I think the riser cable would look great. I just don't know. That sucks because I think it looked awesome with the riser cable on. It was just something that was not sticking or whatever it was. But yeah. Well, I mean, guys, I'm trying to. I'd like to preserve. I would have liked to have preserved the like the original look of the right. of the PC, right? So again. I know you guys, like, there was a lots of people who said lots of things. It could have been, you know, any one of those things, but I would have liked to have had the vertically mounted GPU like we had planned. And I don't know, it feels like the issue is, is that the um, riser cable isn't gripping onto the GPU well enough. So I'd like to see, like, and I've used, I have used this particular brand. I have used Fantex's GPU, um, I have used this vertical mount before and not had a problem. So that's the part that's disappointing is like, I have used this. So I don't think it was a G, I think there's probably, there may be something I can do to figure out how to get that to work better. Um, or it could have been the Asia horse cables. Or yeah, or it could have been. those back in yet. Yeah, either. so it could be a lot of things that could have actually happened, but we actually have a, we actually have a working, we have a working PC now, but it's just not a pretty, I mean, I can make it pretty. I think what you have, like I'd have to, I think what I have to do is bend this and then you could have the whole cables and stuff like that. But all in all, the case itself, building in the case was, was super epic and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. If I'm gonna put it up on, like if we're gonna make it look pretty, you wanna use the riser cable and all that sort of stuff and make it look good. But the point was, can we get it to the point where it posts um, and uh, looks good on here? I mean, that's what we wanted, right? So that's what we have now. By the way, the second thing I want to talk to you guys about that I've shown, and we have a deal on this, is I've been using these portable monitors. Um, this one is by Lab Labis, Labis, Labists. Um, these are 1080p. Uh, you can check if you hit exclamation point new tech, I think is what I did, exclamation point new tech, you can check these out. These are on sale via that link as well. Uh, they're 1080p, uh, great like portable monitors. They're about as thin as iPads in terms of um, being able to carry them around or use them a lot um, with, for doing stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, and 
and going, it's, which is like something. So it's been pretty great there. Let us do the last giveaway. What did we get? One, we're at a hundred. We're 25 away. We're 25 away from that last giveaway. Do you think we'll get it? We remember guys, if we want to unlock a second, we want to unlock a second 3070 giveaway. We're going to have to hit at least a couple giveaways, a couple times a week where we hit that, that second one. So, uh, going from there, um, uh, and all that sort of stuff. We're gonna get, we're gonna be starting the other giveaway here in a second. Um, if I sent you the cyber just for show, would you do? Uh, yeah, because we're actually doing a cyberpunk build, Sebastio. So if you want to send it to us and then we send it back, you could totally do that um, and go from there. Uh, was there? Yeah, there was a. Re we she already did the reroll. It's up and running. Everything works. Yeah, we just we. It looks like it's the vertical mount. So I gotta figure out why. It's like the vertical mount. Like this isn't quite sticking. It like it wasn't gripping all that well, and so I think that's it's it's probably a simple thing. Again, you're supposed to be putting pads underneath it to give it pressure, and I think that was the other thing too is that those pads are pretty necessary. And uh, if I maybe if I put those pads on, it would have worked, and then you would have that pressure that would be pushing into it. So, um, yeah, checking out the guys. The, the the thing I gave you is not a command to enter a giveaway. It was basically for you to check out the monitor. So hopefully, did that whisper? Are you guys getting a whisper? Um, but let's do that last giveaway and then we'll announce our winner for the, we'll announce our winner for the, um, so close to 125. I know that's the thing is like, we're 25. Oh, we're at 106. Yeah. Someone dropped. Oh guys, we're at 106. Okay. Well, why don't we do this? Come on. We're at 106. We're 19 away from doing that, doing that last giveaway, uh, doing that $150 new aid gift card. So let's see, can we get somebody to just. Uh, good. People are getting that whisper. Give it a check out. I'd love to have you guys do that. Also, don't forget the other one that's here is this awesome uh, tilted. Their shadow. Um, it's the. Uh, I was showing this off too. This is that tilted shadow shadows um, uh, headset holder. It's also a, a mouse dongle. Um, I use this for my ultimate room setup. Um, you guys will see this as part of the review. There, there. The blitz dropping it like it's hot. There we go. Fifteen. We're four away, guys. Come on, we're four away from that. Let's get it going from there. Um, so yeah, we have this right here. Um, pretty awesome as well. Uh, give this a go. This is 15% off if you use the code RobyTech. Uh, looks really cool um, and easy to change your RGB. Looks really nice with any gaming room setup um, as well. So pretty stoked about that. Thank you for them for ship, uh, showing that. Laser dropping it off. There we go. 131. There we go. I think I think we'll consider that. And we're, I, we I think we'll consider chat. that pretty good. And we got a super chat. So let's do this last giveaway. Um, Silver Eagle dropping again. They're at 131, guys. John so, John with the 20. And John John with the 20. You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's do the giveaway. So this one is for the $150 Newegg gift card. Newegg now is the, as a big, they're our big sponsor. Thank you very much, Laser and those guys for dropping that, that giveaway stuff. Can you let Roby know that they're using the riser cable you has to go into the BIOS, change it to Gen 3 PCI before installing the PCI riser cable? Oh, Can you let Roby know that when you're using a riser cable for the GPU, it has to go into the BIOS and change it to a Gen 3 PCI. I haven't had to do that before. Is that true? Oh, wow. Somebody is saying that you actually have to change it to Gen 3 before, uh, wh why? Is it is it because of the, because again, is it because of the riser cable? Because the riser cable is not Gen 4 capable? Because if that was true, and I'm just this is just a conversation with a tech specialist, if that was true, then you could stick in any any PCI, any Gen 3, like you stuck like a, a 1080 Ti, then that wouldn't work, right? Is it why does it why do you have to set it in uh, the BIOS for a riser cable? I'm just curious about that. And we could talk about that on offline. We're not gonna talk about that now. But yeah, entering that giveaway. Uh, which I haven't activated, but people think I have. So starting that giveaway now, entering new egg now. Okay, giveaway is active now. Someone said yes. I didn't see who it was. Said said yes what? That you'd have to do it with a 1080 Ti. You would. I didn't see who it was because this is every time there's a giveaway, my side goes real slow. Yeah, yeah. Just, like yeah, the browser like can't running. handle it. I have not, so I did this on, I'm trying to think of the last rate. We did this on the Oris and that was an AMD mm -hmm. and that was a 2080 Ti and we did not, and that was exactly the exact same riser cable. We did not have to do that and it worked fine. So we've Maybe done it's that. it's manufacturer based? No, because again, we use this exact riser cable with an X570. Right, Maybe 
would it be a base by base on the manufacturer of the graphic card? I don't know. I mean, because that was an X5, that was an Aorus. This is an MSI. I mean, I don't think, I, I don't, I haven't had to do that before, which is interesting. Or GPU based? Let me see, somebody was saying something like that. So MS, what is he, somebody said something. PCI journal has to be changed to three for X5, only for X570. Uh, has to be changed to three only for X570. Uh, somebody's saying, what you do is somebody's name got, oh, uh, it's, guys, it's all drawn by the bot. The bot draws, draws the names. It's like, I don't, I mean, I could restart the bot. Oh, is it because the 3080 supports PCIe Gen 4 that you have to change it? I see what you're saying. So it's because the, it's because the 3080. Oh. I see. Okay. Well, I can try that and see if let's uh, we can change it real quick and give it a go while we're waiting. We'll do that. Let's change it to PCIe Gen 3, plug it in and see if that works. Oh, will you now? Oh, why not? I'm down. I'm down to try something. That's something I've never learned before. I've never done before. So this is my first time messing with a 3080 or a PCIe Gen 4 capable card. So that, that, would, that could make sense. So I got to go into advanced and change the Gen 4 on the top card. So we'll go to, oops, settings, advanced, uh, PCI max link, PCI E1 max link. We're gonna change it to Gen 3. And then chipset Gen switch is for matching different installed devices. Okay, so I should, it's PCIe E1 is now set for, um, is now set for, um, is now set for um, PCI Gen 3. I'm gonna try this again. No way this is your first PCI Gen 4 card. The 5700 XT is PCI Gen 4 as well. Well, it's my first Gen 4 card using a, sorry, first Gen 4 card using a PCI, using a riser. So I've never, I don't like, I, out of, I've probably used, what, maybe out of the 135 builds that we've done, I probably used a 5700 XT maybe four times. Because just because like they're, for a long time, AMD drivers used to be crap. Um, and so, uh, so it, like you could never recommend it. And then now with, uh, now, I mean, a 5700 XT, like it's just impossible to recommend against the 3000 series Nvidia card. So, um, we did it when we did our initial review, but we, we didn't, we haven't used a lot of vertical mount GPU stuff because honestly, uh, cases, a lot of cases didn't support them all that well. They didn't leave a lot of room between the, um, they didn't leave a lot of room between the glass and the, um, and the, uh, the GPU. So that's been something that's gotten better and better, but we've changed it now. I've set it to gen three and we're going to, we're going to switch this out real quick and give it a go while we wait for the giveaway. Okay, cool. And this is a gen three, this is definitely a gen three riser card for sure. Bottom. Okay. Okay. This is why we do things together, because then I learn new stuff like this. It sh and now, by the way, the BIOS is supposed to detect, but the other thing too is like, are you saying that it's getting conflicting signals? Because the BIOS should detect, like the if it works like every other bit of tech, right? Like Whatever the signal's coming through, the GPU should read whether it's in a PCIe Gen 3 or Gen 4 as well. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I guess I we'll know, find but it. Like on TVs, you have, on some TVs, you have to activate 4K because it doesn't detect the 4K signal. I don't know, we'll test, we'll test it out. I mean, we're gonna find out. It could, I mean, again, we're gonna, it's a, it's a quick thing to test. So we now have everything ready to go. So we'll just plug this back in. That and gotta make sure it stays. Yeah, that's the other. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump some, jab some. 
of those things underneath it. I'm, I'm a little worried that the reason it wasn't working is because it wasn't it wasn't reading. Let's shove a couple of these in there and stuff all the stuff in there. There those. There you go. Okay. Okay. Then it's got a much more solid base on it now too, so. And congratulations to Lewis and Dino. Lewis and Dino from YouTube, you are the winner of the $150 Newegg gift card. Is uh, by the way, uh, Blondie, you know who won the you know who won the the 3080. Do you is do you know if that person is here today? Can you text me and let me know because you know who that person is. I wanted to see if they're if they're here today or if you got a chance to talk to them. Okay, so it's all plugged in. Uh, again, we've set the riser cable to 30. We've set it. That would suck. Because what if you don't have a what if you don't have a you don't have another way to do that, right? That that I really think if this is true and this works, which it could be two things, but if this works, that is a really crappy design. Because if you build a PC and you get a riser cable, you have no way, unlike being able to easy flash a BIOS if you don't have a CPU, there's no way to change that without having like on an AMD system. Because right. you don't have an APU. This would be literally the worst design ever. I'm just, I'm just saying, um, if this was actually true. But if the only way you could install is not. because, yeah, because you like, I would say the average consumer who wants to do this has no idea that you may have a riser cable that's not Gen 4 capable. You know what I mean? Like I don't. That just that really surprises me. So okay, we're gonna try it. Okay, so that person is not here, which is unfortunate. Um, did you get a chance to talk to him, Blondie? The, that person? Okay, so the power is on. On the GPU. And it boots. So it's two things. So it could it could be, I mean, I could, why don't we do this? Let's just test and see if I want you to change it back. Yeah, I'm gonna change it back. Because I did, I did also, I, I did also um, put the risers. In I did, the, I did put the riser thing back in. Well, check. We're just. This is literally so terrible. So I'm gonna change it back to auto, and then hit close. And then if it doesn't boot, then we know the answer. Okay, rebooting. It does look better now that it's vertically mounted. Yep, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, it doesn't work. That is literally, that is literally wow. it. Wow. Okay, well, now you guys know. That is literally... That is literally what is happening. That person is, thank you very much for teaching me. That is something that I will definitely tell people from now on is that, um, yeah, the, the GPU is literally just cycling over and over and over again right now. Um, is you have to, you have to have it set to gen three. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I know that is that like, I will tell you if you, so the thing is, is that given how many people uh, vertically mounted GPU and I'm okay with saying, I did not know this was a thing. Uh, two things, right? Is that the handshake, whatever the handshake protocol is. So like I'm now going to game developer mode, the handshake protocol from a hardware access layer between the GPU and the motherboard is borked, right? Like that could have been something that done from that could have been done via um, basically done via NVIDIA and stuff like that. So that's pretty terrible. Um, and uh, I will tell you the other thing too, is like if you are putting together a new PC and you do this because there are like no riser cable, like there are literally gonna be people who are 
or who are bored, like they have to take apart their PC, throw it in, change the thing and go back, right? Which I mean, these don't do, you know, they're not bored, but the other thing too is like, they're not gonna, like you're gonna have to be like, oh yeah, you have to remove your vertical GPU mount and then do this all again, so, okay. Yeah, it's not, okay. People are like, and that's why you should go Intel. Wasn't going that far, but going from there. Um, yeah, so what I, so guys, what I did, essentially what you did, I can, I'll show you, we're gonna, we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna fix this so it's actually set to be what it is. I am a big, big shout out to my tech specialist. And again, this is just teaching you that, again, there are many of us who don't know this stuff. This is how we learn is by doing. Um, so I'm very grateful for the people who know this thing because I could have been playing with this all day. Um, the thing that sucks is like, I now have like my, my, my build looks worse because of this, because that was probably what it was from the beginning, um, which, you know, this is the thing is like, I'm trying to go from what I know. Um, but uh, yeah, I will show you real quick what we did. And then, uh, but I did want to announce real quick. So if people don't want to stick around and if, uh, if uh, also if, um, also if like people like uh, poor old Trey over here wants to go to bed or whatever it was. Oh no, I was just, I was just looking up. Someone said that the release date for Halo Infinite was leaked. So. Okay. I was just curious. Um, so, uh, but I do want to announce the winner for the 3080 with a whopping I think he was whopping 186 entries this person had, which when you think about what that person was within a month, this person had 186 entries. Congratulations to Drafaz. Drafaz was the winner of this month's 3080, uh, the last one was the subscriber of the 38. Yeah, he don't like between his tiered subscription, his Jeez. donations and all that sort of stuff, Drafaz won. Won the 3080. Um, so congratulations to him. Uh, again, it was all done via a bot that does the stuff, but it's just I could see all of the entries. So the way it works, it dumps all the entries in and then it shows. And like there are people like him. Laser was another one who had just a ridiculous amount of entries. So I'm super thank you very much supporting them uh, and being a, such a huge supporter of the channel um and uh and uh with all of those things and so big thank you to them so Drafaz, he won the 3080 again we're going to be doing we still have the 3070 we have another one next month we're going to be doing a 3080 again next month as well so 3070 this month potentially potentially two um and then we are also doing the 3080 next month as well so don't worry there's still chances to win plus we're giving away a 3080 pc uh starting next week that also comes with an xbox one x and a playstation 5 <laughs> um so you still have lots of chances to win. Is that a is that a Robitech giveaway or is that a? It's a new egg slash Robitech yeah. giveaway. So yeah, it's both. I mean it's I mean it's all it's all sponsored. It's like yeah, it's it's sponsored by it's part of my sponsor. Yeah, you know, with our right, it's right, a right. sponsored giveaway. Okay, so we're gonna fix this real quick because that's what people wanted to know. What do you have to do to make this work? And it sounds like somebody told me oh. Somebody had said there are no currently no Gen 4 riser cards. Something tells me that's going to get fixed here pretty quick. Uh, someone in chat said there are riser or Gen riser cards. They're just extremely expensive. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to buy some of those. We're going to buy like 20. And we're going to sell them on eBay with MSI for 40 for 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 10 times the amount of money. We're using the MSI business strategy here at Robitech. Card costs 600. It's going to be 1500. Okay, so we're going to put this back in. Real quick, we're gonna power this back up. So now this will boot like it's supposed to. Boot and a boot. It's boot and a boot. Turn that on. Oh, turn it on. Turn on. Boom. And so here's what you do if you have this problem. And we're going to make sure that we uh, we're going to tell our fine folks at. Uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, when we do this build, uh, when he does the editing for this build, that. Um, Drafaz is in chat. What? Is he here? I missed it. Drafaz, where are you? Well, knowing him, he's probably like, eh, I don't want the card. <laughs> okay, so here's what you guys do. Uh, we're going to go to, but uh, where's Drafaz? Congratulations, Drafaz. Say something. Anything. Anything. I missed it. Drafaz is in the house. Congratulations, Drafaz. Where are you? There are PCI 4, 8, okay, grats, thank you. Oh, congratulations, Drafaz, you are the winner of the uh, Asus TUF 3080. So we'll be sending you that uh, in uh, October. 
Um, so yeah, you're welcome, man. Well, you you've been massively supportive. You had 165 entries, dude. So that's which is huge. Okay, so here's what you do if you want to do your settings and make this work. Is and and this is at least in a on the MSI. You go to settings, and then you'll go to advanced. And then there's these things called PCI subsystem settings. And then you see where it says PCI max link speed. And this will they'll have different names, but this is for MSI. It's pretty easy to find. But you're gonna look for something that looks like this. And then you're gonna set it to Gen 3. And then all you have to do from here is once that's done, just go to here, hit yes. And then now you are now, I can now re-add my, uh, I can now re-add my, uh, my riser. riser and I'm good to go there. So we're just gonna wait for that to reboot and then we're good to go. So that's what we did. So it was not, it, it was not, it was actually not the riser cable. It was the BIOS and the riser cable as a combination. So the riser cable, you, I mean, technically, I guess you could say the riser cable was the issue, but, um, the riser cable was the issue because it's not PCIe Gen 3 and, uh, sorry, not PCIe Gen 4. And because it wasn't PCIe Gen 4, um, it wasn't allowing the piece, the GPU to boot, which is why we we're getting all that weird behavior with uh, the, the GPU, like turning off and turning on. Cause it was like, I don't know what to do. So it was freaking out. It's like, the, it's the CPU yeah, and the GPU. Yeah, and again, I'm pretty sure I probably missed it. And again, I wish I could. I, I, I am I am grateful for learning. I will now know from now on what to do. This is why I have like some of the people like I, I have tech specialists and there are tech specialists who know more than I do. And I'm grateful for them. And we all learn together. So now we go. We, we uh, again, from a programming standpoint, I'm really disappointed that this is a thing. Um, this seems a really easy thing to be able like this is, sounds like something that's like it's like should be and the other thing too is like it should be taken care of and it was not so i'm disappointed in I'm gonna let evga know it's not even easy it's like it's like it could be i mean or is it, MSI? It's, it could be i don't i don't know i mean it sounds like there's there may it just wasn't something they never thought about right like which could be the case and that has happened where it's like oh yeah i never considered that we would have this problem and so they didn't account for it and i don't know if it's a bios update if it's a hardware access layer update like or what it is that they're gonna have to do to fix that but that kind of sucks it's just another level of you know like i like it when pcs are simple for users and now this is one of those things that i know there are going to be people who don't have you know twelve thousand people watching them to help them figure out like i could have been here and been like well oh, okay riser cable is bad and the riser cable wasn't bad it wasn't until uh, Blondie texted me saying, hey, the tech specialists know what's up, Roby, you lame-o, boomer. It's not true. Boomer. Boomer. And chat was going so fast for me, I couldn't read that. Well, I mean, but there was a lot of people saying a lot of things, right? Like, right. it wasn't, you know, there's a lot. He said, clear, we cleared, I mean, come on, look at what we did. We cleared the CMOS, we changed all these cables around, like, we did all sorts of stuff to... <clears throat> to try and fix this problem. So are they horse cables bad? Yeah, or they're not? probably fine. That's the part that reason they're bad. It's like, wait, but the easier horse cables are probably fine. Like our cable, like not that the be the build doesn't look terrible, but when was the last time I actually used like stock cables? Right. I feel like I feel kind of naked right now with. I was gonna say a little bit naked. I feel a little bit naked right now with these stock cables. Okay, so that is ready to go. We got our little little pads down here. So it's now it's nice and solid for that. Put this back in, make it look better. I can still be disappointed. I'm like my dad. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> How many times have you heard that one? A lot from my dad. Okay, put this back in. Now we're gonna plug that in. So yeah, if you're doing this, Hopefully I will make sure that we put a very special segment in here that tells you what to do to make sure that you don't have this problem and uh, you know, saves you the same heartache I just went through to make sure that your situation is solid and uh, good. So now we got our, our installation back in. Yes, it's the Fantix one, the hood's gate. Yeah, it's the Fantex, it's specifically the Fantex, uh, the fan, the one that they, they're, 
Because if you're going to do vertical mount, this one like replaces all of the GPU slots, um, all of the GPU slots uh, for, um, uh, sorry, all of the PCI slots with a new vertical mount slot thing. So, okay, let me make this look better now. Go hide that. Okay, now that is done. Put this back. We need Gen 4 cables that don't force users to do what you are doing. Yeah. Well, that would be the, I mean, that's the ideal thing, right? Is like they, I'm assuming, I guess the question I have is that if I stuck a Gen 4 and a Gen 3, that wouldn't work either. So it's not like you could just put like future proof and put like a, put a, or if I, yeah, I did. I stuck the wrong one and the wrong one. Okay. Fix that. These are captive, which is unfortunate. So that's why not gripping oh shoot I just dropped that whole thing whoop yep. and you put the wrong screw in okay there we go thank you to the how many people are still hanging out 1400 so we still have 1400 people still hanging out you want to see it done. You want to see you, it. Uh, you don't have. I know. I got. I got to put it back up. So to clarify, the issue is the board is Gen 4 slot and it didn't match the standard Fantex cable. Yes. To be to be just absolutely clear, the top Gen 4 was had a Gen 3 riser cable, and that Gen 3 because the GPU and this wouldn't have happened. This would not have happened if the GPU was a 2080 Ti. They ask because they're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. You just basically need to, before you put in your vertical GPU riser, you need to uh, plug it into your, just plug your GPU into your motherboard. And then um, once that's done, plug it your GPU into your motherboard, set your, go in your BIOS, change it to Gen 3, and then you can vertically mount your GPU. You're gonna put the Asia horse? Yeah, because that just looks better. And it doesn't turn on. Yeah, and then it doesn't work. And I'll be mad. And I'll just throw the I'll throw the whole PC against the wall and cry. <laughs> and that would make people cry because I just crushed a, a ridiculously expensive build. Well, actually, this isn't actually that expensive a build. This is a great build. Two thousand dollar build. Expensive to me. Oh. You know what I could do with two hundred Two thousand dollars. That's a lot of spicy nuggets. That's a lot of spicy nuggets. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get a lot of spicy nugs. Spicy nug. You can bathe in spicy nugs. I don't know if bathing in spicy nugs should be a thing, but yes, I guess that is something you could do. You could bathe in spicy nugs. Just think about it. I'm thinking about it, and still don't think bathing in spicy nugs seems like a good idea. <laughs> you know. It wouldn't be so bad if I don't forget the goggles. You don't need spicy nug in your eyes. No, I agree with that. So. It seems like a good... Okay. Come on. No, it's like this. $2,000 is not 8 million in Canadian dollars. It's like... It's like 8.6 million in Canadian dollars. <laughs> Like, uh, 3.5 million? Thousand? No. Oh. I thought, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It, it's, uh, a... <laughs> that looks better. I think the little white, like the little sparks of white actually look better. So I thought I'm. to make this look the way that it was supposed to because I'm just that anal retentive now that I know so if it's uh, every same five cents American is a dollar this is a lot of math for you yes especially this late 
Okay. Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you at all. This is a lot of math for you. This is a lot of math. <laughs> and I also know how tired you are. I didn't get much sleep. I didn't even work today. You didn't? I just gamed all day? No, what's that as? I was in Bonnie Lake. Yeah. And okay. then drove to a new construction site. Oh, cool. I regret doing this now, but it's like the last. There we go. Got it in. Okay. Last cable. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now? Now. Now. The whole thing is back to the way it was. I would have just listened to all of you before, who all were better experts. But it's like Jay says, there's a lot of times mob mentality. The mob is always going to be smarter than an individual. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Now watch it turn on and then it, like, it'll work. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now. There it goes. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I'm so confident this is gonna work. I'm gonna put the back plate on. We now have. Never learns his lesson. Ooh. I could have just pretended that it posted. <laughs> like I could have just been like, yeah, post. Everything's good. Except for the GPU's not spinning. Uh, I wonder if like the, the I, I was a little curious that the riser cable didn't. Oh, well, I'm seeing stuff here. Yeah, the GPU is not spinning right now. Well, it's definitely not. It's definitely. I wonder if I just didn't plug something in. Dang it. I want this to be done the right way. And the thing is plugged in, right? Just where is this like the... Okay. You got your spacers in. Yeah, I got spacers in. Everything here looks good. That's in. I just wanted like a final win of the night, right? You know what I mean? Like, right. It's all the way it is. We spent all this time. <sighs> okay. It's not like the GPU is not powering up. Just worked. Yeah, I know. Just was all fine. Like it's all like it was just working. Like it was just like it all worked. Like and now it's just like what did I? Unless I like unless I pulled something out in the back, which could have been the case. Like I could have just un I could have loosened something in the back, and that's what I get for closing the back so quickly. I don't know what else it would be. Blinker fluid. Just physically spin the fan. <laughs> Should have done that. What was I thinking? When I hooked up the, the only thing I can think is when I hooked up the CPU cable, like I loosened the other cable or what? I don't know. It's like right now, I don't, this is like, I'm literally just like, this is tearing, this is making me mad. And it could very well be that like the cable extensions are bad. <laughs> like, okay, it's reseeding these. Full, oh, sorry. Yeah, full screen of myself. Good job. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. There we go. That's good. Is this not plugged in all the way? Yeah, that's good. Make sure this is all plugged in. Yeah, that's good. That's good. This is definitely- Riser both sides plugged in. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm checking now. 
Like, did I just, did this, is this not seated correctly? This is coming loose underneath here. It doesn't seem like this is actually seated right. So maybe it's it actually might. I'm going to reseat this real quick. See if I didn't see this right. Last time it's like the seating felt really good. And I don't know if maybe I didn't seat this right. Seat this one more time and do two things differently that I did last time that worked really well. I'm just gonna almost drop the screwdriver. Ugh. Okay. Run it. I see that. There we go. We're gonna put this like this. Yeah, I don't feel like the front is like the front is not like the front isn't gripping on the riser cable. I wonder if I'm not not seating it right. I think that was one of the things that happened last time. It doesn't seem to be happening this time. It doesn't seem like it's seating right. Like this, this isn't quite seating the way it needs to, so it's like not getting. It's not seating all the way. Because last time when I had it in last time, like it was like this, this was like uh like the like when I'm looking at it from the side, it doesn't look like the front is in all the way. Oh. No clock. Yeah, I know. We're gonna have to just call it. I think it's like honestly, I, I don't, I don't think the front of this card is seating in. Oh, that's better. Oh, there it goes. That's okay. It's in. I think that was what it was. Turn it on quick. I think that was it. Just has to get seated correctly. It's just that it's just finicky. If it's not feet seated correctly, because that like just that it's level now, like it's it's even the right way. Mm -hmm. So I'll touch it. I don't think it's gonna move now because it's like it's not. Okay, here we go. Turning it on. Let me screw this one thing in. There you go. Yep, and now it's on. Yep, it was just a reseat. It was a seating issue. Okay, and it's on. And there we go. We're waiting. I haven't seen it post yet. I did save it. I did save the BIOS. It did set the LED on. Yeah, the lights are on. It's like, oh, I forgot to put in the dang freaking. <laughs> okay, yeah, it posts. This is on. It's just sitting on. And we gotta restart the PC, but that'll be fine. It's just that that's not a that's just because there was no thing. It's just gotta do this. Okay, there we go. Whoo! I think we got it, guys. And 
there it is. There's the post. And there it is, guys. Finally, the way it should be, all done with all the cables done, all that sort of stuff. So we're good now. Um, yeah, we're in good shape, guys. That looks really good. So there it is, vertically mounted with a lot of complications, but we have since fixed it. We now have it all squared. There it is. Yay, post Yay. hype and Lewis and winning the, the giveaway as well. Yeah, there we go. We got with a satisfying end. We finally got it done. We've now learned um, and gone from there. So uh, I want to give a big shout out specifically to everybody who stuck around. Uh, still 1,315 people chilling in chat. I think we capped out at like over 2,000, 2,025. I don't know where we ended up. Chatting. I think it was broken there for a while, but we have a finished build um, and uh, it looks good. It looks we've learned something today. Um, which I don't know, I'm curious if uh, ver now one of those things, if you're gonna vertically mount a, if you're gonna vertically mount a 3090, um, were you actually gonna bottleneck with the Gen 3? Because I actually think a 3090 actually takes advantage of that speed. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we are back tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we are building the PC we're gonna be giving away. So we're gonna be showing the N7, it'll be a, it'll be a 10900KF build. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're back tomorrow, uh, look for that. We're gonna be building that. Um, that's using the full the full meal deal. It's using an X73. It's a beautiful, beautiful PC. Uh, and then on Friday, we're using Booty Chatter. Booty Chatter will be back. He'll be we'll be doing his um, build on Friday. And then tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., uh, I will just look for confirmation. But I should be re I should be streaming the uh, AMD conference uh, for you guys to join me and watch together. So that'll be happening as well. Outside of that, guys. Uh, I hope you guys follow me on all the social. Make sure you follow on TikTok. Everybody say goodnight to Trey because he's super tired. Yeah. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, if you have a preference, DM me on uh, DM me on uh, DM me on Discord. Um, oh, and also we still have that uh, we still have that Samsung G7 monitor for sale. So it didn't end up getting snapped. If you're looking for a Samsung G7, which are out of stock everywhere, and you really want to get one, I have one. We're selling it for 590 bucks. Uh, if you want to get one, they're impossible to get. We have a spare one. So re, uh, reach out for me on Discord if you want to pick that up. Outside of that, guys, have a great night, and we will see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat>